Here we go. Here we go. All right, let me just check on the live chat. Live chat. <laughs> yeah, Alcoholic BBC. Yeah. Um, can people hear us? All right. I think this is start. All right. This is starting. I'm sipping coffee on a Friday night. Right, I'm just waiting for... Right, let me just check on the live chat. Mm-hmm. Looks like we're there. Live. Okay. Doing this with a PC with, what, two gigabytes RAM? Mess. Two gigabytes um, hard disk space <coughs> left. So things are going to be... Um, it's going to be... It's going to be a ride. Can I even scroll up on this thing? This My PC is so slow, I can't even scroll up on the web page seriously this is insane i can't even scroll up this pc so slow it is fully over seriously i'm just I'm, i've clicked to scroll up and i'm just sitting here waiting this is insane so sometime on Fe sometimes on sometime on february the 15th we'll be ready It's over. It never even began, literally. <laughs> Seriously, this is my PC's actually just said good night. This is insane. So it's just frozen. Yeah. Can I can I scroll up? Can I even try? All right, there we are. Okay. Wow. Only took about twenty seconds to scroll up. Um, let me check on the live chat. Uh, YouTube, can you hear us all? Can you hear? First time watching one of these live. Welcome, Kaiser. Can, so can you hear? Um, but both of you speak first, Abe. Hey, everyone. All right. I'm Abraham. And, okay. And Dante, say hello. Hello. All right. I sound good. Am I too loud? No, no seven hour today. Am I too loud? Because I turned up my gain. Am I too loud, guys? YouTube. Sound fine to me. Okay, I'm waiting for YouTube people to say if if my 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 voice is distorted or not. Hey, Hemingford Gray, thank you for that twenty GB GBP before we even begin. Right, I think we'll just get started because it's eleven minutes past the hour. We'll just get started. So this is us getting started, if I can remember how to do this. Welcome. Hi. Um, this is Looks Live, and there's no easy way of th saying this. Man, I wish I had coronavirus, but I don't. So um, I guess it's another, what, 40, 50 years of being in cell for me. Um, we have, we're back again. We're usually here on a, um, we're usually here on a, uh, let's find the right button. We're usually here on a Saturday night. But we're here on a Friday because it's, um, if you haven't noticed, it's uh, February the 14th. And um, everyone is in love and everyone has a special someone, except us incels. Um, I have two guests with me today. Um, let's introduce the first of them. It's Abe. Say hello, Abe. Hey, everyone. Um, why did you want to come on this show or what is your experience briefly? Are you incel? Are you Chad, Normie? Um... I wouldn't say I'm fully incel. I'm incel-ish. Um, I uh, I got into like um, uh, PUA. Someone is trying to call, so I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna mute that. Delete that person. Uh, 
All right. Someone calling on um on Discord. Anyway, sorry, you got into PUA, you said. Uh yeah, when I um so I grew up uh, kind of lonely in a in a Muslim country. Um and I had no experience with women until I moved to Australia when I was 19. Okay. And then um I got into PUA when I went to Australia, hoping to make up for like uh my lack of uh sex experience and uh trying to get a girl. Wait, and, someone said um, wait. Man, this is, is the beta boxing wait. rich guy with 270 lay count that you guys banned from your Discord LMAO I got double flate on by two Stacys that wanted wait. Chad instead for Valentine's Day so here I am. Much love, bro. Okay. Um can the YouTube sorry to interrupt. Can the YouTube chat hear us cuz some people are saying they can't hear us. I'm waiting for the YouTube chat to say they can hear us. Are you underneath? So I am guessing they heard you cuz they said um they referred to your ethnicity. Um I'll talk what the voice you just heard. Uh, thank you subhuman african cell. Uh, you, you can hear. Okay, um continue with your story, Abe. Br very briefly because we'll get into that um more in depth later. Okay. So, um I got into PUA and uh I did like thousands, literally thousands of approaches and uh for many years like I had no success at all and I kept blaming myself thinking that oh, maybe um it's just like, I don't know, lack of confidence or I did the POA stuff wrong and stuff. Uh, uh, eventually, I managed to get a girlfriend, but I realized that it, it, it um, like had nothing to do with anything I learned from POA. It was just, um, yeah, uh, I think it was just looks, basically. Okay. Um, I think... Uh, the, Where are you like, based, by the way? Uh, this is, uh, I'm from, uh, I'm in Australia at the moment. Okay. Go ahead, finish your thought. Uh, I think, yeah, like, behavior-wise, uh, like, uh, like it doesn't really matter much what you do. Uh, like, uh, people keep saying confidence and, and uh, I don't Even know what that. else, but, yeah. like, I, I don't think it really matters that much. All you got to be is, like, uh, you know, normal, and that's yeah. it. That's good enough. Okay, and we have... Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say your full name unless. Well, I guess I've written it down. So Dante, you said that's not your real name, right? Yeah, it's not. Okay. So, so uh, what's your experience? Uh, why did you want to come on the show? Just brief, briefly, because we'll get more into we'll get into it more in depth. The I dog need... pill. It's O V E R R. Dog, 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 dog. <laughs> Those are donations you're hearing. Um, I'm I'm just in the mi in the midst of setting this up. I don't know how it works properly, so you'll hear some donations um, throughout the show. Um, hey, I don't have to. I've been. I'll I'll get to that. So, um, Dante, back to you. Um, how do you? What's your ex? What's your experience been with this black pilled world we're living? In? Well, not black pilled world, but this hypergamous world we're li we're living in right now. Yeah. So I'm Dante. I'm sort of intoxicated right now. Um, yeah, I, I began um, to realize the black pill when I was like um, 14 or 15. I'm 27 right now. Um, so I just, you know, was making careful observations of the way, you know, girls were behaving around guys. I noticed for whatever reason, they were treating me completely different. And, you know, I tried, you know, changing all sorts of different things about, you know, how I behaved, how I dressed, how I did my hair, and nothing seemed to me to make any difference at all, you know. And I still adhered to this, you know, blue pill narrative of, oh, well, if you just get to know a girl, you know, and she gets to learn your personality, then, you know, she'll learn to like you. But that's just not how it works. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So... Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Finish your thought. Um, yeah, um, I decided to start a career in healthcare, so I went to medical assisting school. And um, as you know, healthcare is a female-dominated field. Oh yeah. But I didn't really mind this because um, you know I figured that. Yeah, you were thinking. You women... were thinking that you probably 
you'd be you there is a high ratio of of women to men so you probably thought something good may happen in your favor right well no it wasn't even that i just figured that you know i wasn't um you know all the experiencing with like you know bullying and manipulation i had in my teens i wouldn't have to put up with as an adult okay but um yeah so even though I scored like over 98% in every class, you know, for whatever reason, you know, people just weren't hiring me. Finally, I got hired, you know, after an extended period of unemployment by a prestigious hospital. And within a week, I got me too Okay, we need to get into that. But we'll we'll come back to that. First of all, all right, let's get into uh, this actual live stream. Um, first of all, some housekeeping. Um, I'm trying to phase out uh youtube donations because youtube obviously takes their heavy cut um i'll read out that donation and the rest of them soon um youtube takes their heavy cut and um youtube isn't youtube deleted one of my videos so i, I don't feel like supporting them and you know giving them a 30 percent cut of my you know donations so what i'm trying to do is funnel the um fu you need to stop. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm f trying to funnel the donations through Streamlabs, who take less of a cut. And um, the bonus is um, their software allows uh, your donation message to be read out without me even looking. Like, it's read out straight away. So let's try and phase in Streamlabs and phase out YouTube. So you may, I'm going to, I'm trying to get, trying to understand how it works. So it's going to be really messy this time around. But um, hopefully uh, by, you know, the next live stream, I'll have figured out what's going on. Um, so the, I'll get to that soon as well. What else is there? Um, yes. On the last live stream we had, the New Year's live stream, which I felt was quite good. It's quite quite uh, it's uh, it enjoyable to listen to we made a few jokes about a certain group of people don't say the name please don't say the name um <laughs> so giraffe you know giraffe man a, says was it a certain eastern european group uh they they are they can be or were found in eastern europe but yeah it was a certain group it was was not racism it was just a joke it was just a few memes but apparently people got offended and um the video got taken down the video got deleted which was a shame because i really liked that video so we cannot mention Seriously? those people we yeah exactly so we can't mention them at all so please just don't refer to them you know and i'm not anti s i'm not anti you know but um, I guess you can't joke about them, which is surprising because out of all, out of, you know, I talk about women in a quote unquote unflattering light. I thought if any, if I'm going to get, you know, a video deleted, it's going to be because I talked about women in an unflattering way. But apparently there is a group that is more, what's the word I'm looking for? More, um protected protected than women so you know that blew my mind um and yeah what else what else housekeeping so yeah don't mention them please um other housekeeping um yeah the last two live streams i thought were good i felt there were they were i i felt like i was becoming more confident in my streaming i felt because you know certain times i've done live streams and they were so cringy like i was unconfident i was um nervous and shaking and fumbling over my words <laughs> i was like i was i was mute yourself please i think that's a, is that a train coming uh abe uh, next abe abe next abe lives so close to the train line he's virtually he's virtually riding the tracks so um I said, I, I'm saying mute yourself every time or unmute yourself if you need to speak because it's just too loud. Yeah, anyway, so anyway, um, 
yeah the the last the christmas live stream and the new year's live stream were good i felt they were so good because in previous attempts at live streams like i I just wasn't good at it it takes a while to learn how to do it well and like previous live streams i've done uh they were so cringy like i i I would listen to them and be physically cringing like i would imagine yourself your head being brought into your chest and your knees being brought to your chest like i was f- physically going into a fetal position um listening to i was cringing so hard i was going into a fetal position and um uh, i was i was cringing so hard that i made myself compact enough to fit into a suitcase listening to the um some of those old streams but the last two ones one of which got deleted i felt were a coming of age so let's hope hopefully we can build on that um yeah, any... Chase, I, I think you probably are judging yourself too harshly and i think it's real easy to judge yourself harshly i mean i thought your previous live streams were pretty darn good but thank yeah you. your last two lives were even better yet thank you yeah i, I watched your videos I, I don't think there was anything cringy okay thank you. So, yeah. right um right let's get on with this because i we are 24 minutes well not i how long are we into the i don't know somewhere away into this and uh, we have barely gotten started so this was this was a black pill that um uh i hit me about four hours ago on the way home from work um i took i took this picture um in my local um shop and um it's the dog pill. I don't know if you know about the dog pill, but I don't, I don't even know if I could actually describe the dog pill um, on YouTube. But there is a growing trend. I don't want to say it, but there is a growing trend of women who who do things with animals, spe- specifically dogs. And so I just thought I'd um, let you know that it's everywhere you can't get away from it it's um, i do want to do a video on it but um i'll have to probably do it on bit shoot or something because you know youtube anyway uh what i wanted to actually this that was just by the by what i wanted to actually speak about was re- rejection so um i've had my fair share of rejections let me just talk about um my rejections that um the, the some of the ones that occurred to me off the top of my head one was um in pr- in primary school in primary school um i was attracted to a young well same age as me um british like about how old were Briti- you i was about 8 9 i think um and there was this british asian south asian woman girl and um i i think i expressed to her i was attracted to her what do you think she did what i told her even worse (sighs) even worse she told the head teacher she was so she was so disgusted she told the head teacher but in my luckily in my favor the head teacher she she said she said to the head teacher um miss um face said he loves me face said he likes me um luckily the head teacher was a christian and she said there's nothing wrong with love love is good and then she that was it it was over but yet yeah, women if trust me if women find you unattractive you saying you're attracted to them it's the biggest insult it's the biggest insult i was uh, born and my life was over <laughs> thank you i don't know i wish i could get the name of that person up on the screen but i'll i'll work out um another uh rejection was um oh yeah um i called up i was this was recent yeah I call I called up a prostitute just to see what would happen just to see cuz I've heard they don't see black men and whatever I thought let me just see what would happen right so I called up a prostitute and um 
I said, hey, and she said, hello, in a foreign accent. I said, um, so do you see black men? And she said, she said, um, what? Because she's foreign. I said, do you see black men? And then there was a second silence. Then all you heard was, she hung oh, up. Wow. <laughs> she, <laughs> it was over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, over for me. Um, what else was there? Um, does anyone want, do you want to jump in with a um, rejection story before I can? Because I got rejection stories for days. So, do you, you want to jump in with one of yours, Abe Dante? I have one, unless the other guy wants to go first. Um. I had thousands. Uh, I can't, but uh, pick, I can't remember one. anything off the top of oh, my head at the okay. moment. All right. Um, all right. While you're working through your, while you you're working, one to that is you know worthy of talking about. Um, what I I wrote one down because um I because I've got so many that I need to you know hone hone in on one. Oh yeah, I was. Um, this isn't. There are, there is such thing as a soft rejection. Like you can actually look at a woman, and she can reject you non-verbally. We incels know about this. And uh, I was on the train, and um, yeah, I looked at. I was trying my best not to look at a woman because she was sitting opposite me on the train, and I, I was trying my best not to look at her because. Looking at her, she'd she'll get valid, validation or she'll be disgusted. I just thought, don't look at women. I've learned fr from previous experiences at looking at women. I've learned just just don't look at them. They don't want they don't oh, yeah. want sub five guys looking at them. But anyway, oh, I yeah. caved. I caved. I was stupid. I looked. I looked at this woman, and she literally rolled her eyes. And the thing is, it oh. was it, she. She rolled her eyes so hard that I actually burst out laughing because it, her her re total rejection of me was so blatant that it I I couldn't even be depressed. It was it, it was just it was so blatant that I just I just had to acknowledge how funny the situation was, and so yeah, that's one. That's another rejection. One time at a Christmas party that which was about two months ago. Okay, let me try and build this scene up quickly. I'm at a Christmas party at work. Um, there is a young, slightly mouth breather face girl. She's still attractive, but um, let's call her. Let's call her Jenny. Okay, so Jenny's sitting opposite me. And um, other colleagues on this table, Christmas dinner table. So Jenny, Jenny goes away, comes back, and she says, "I hate men. I hate all men. I hate men." And I say to her, "Me and uh, my friend, let's call him Liam. My friend Liam. We we say, why do you hate men? What did we do? We, we we've done nothing wrong. We've we've done nothing wrong. Why do you hate men?" And she says. She, Jenny says, I just found out that my boyfriend of five months actually has a girlfriend. And so um, we were like, OK, wow, that's wow. Tough break. And then um, the boomer sitting next to Jenny. The boomer, the older, older guy, um, he kind of delved, delved into uh, Jenny's relationship with this guy. So the boomer said, so what's this guy's name? And she said, she said a name that sounds black. She she's white-ish, and she said a name that sounds black, and um, um, it kind of got into the conversation of what race is he, blah blah blah. And she, this this Jenny, she says, I like black men, and then so this boomer says, so why don't you date Face? Face Face is Face is has Jamaican heritage. We we assume we talked about that. We. You know that was that that came up. She said uh, the boomer said to Jenny, "Why don't you date Face? He's Jama he's Jamaican. He's he has Jamaican heritage. Why don't you j date Face?" And she just stopped speaking. 
she literally she stopped speaking you could see how uncomfortable she was and she wanted you could see she just wanted to, this the subject to be changed so yeah. that that was a reject i counted that as a rejection obviously i know she yes most women is, want me, most women is, yeah. most women want me dead i know that for a fact i don't that's not you know news to me but just having it was so cringy like these boomers think that all you need all you need to do is suggest to a woman hey there's a guy over there and then a relationship will form because maybe back in that their day it was that easy but today hypergamy is not not happening any other okay yeah um let um, me think yeah have you do you have a rejection story like I, I went through that a lot the first story that you went through the um the girl suddenly like rolling her eyes yeah i've had i've had a lot of those uh, like uh, uh like if um uh, sorry train coming okay um yeah by the way if you just um oh. if you just found if you just tuned in um abe is it you're you're dante right the one who's not muted now yeah i'm dante all right abe lives so close to the train tracks he could virtually board the train from his house so he, we, we, we we're um, getting him to mute himself um every now and again so anyway dante go back to you now yeah i can go ahead and share a yeah. rejection story i had and this is actually how i began to discover the black pill mm. um so i was in middle school i was 14 years old mm. And um, I had recently, you know, become a Christian, so I started attending a church. Okay. And I remember I was sitting in the front pew while the pastor was giving a sermon, and I was looking across the aisle at this 13-year-old girl, and, mm. you know, she was glancing back at me, and she just had the most gorgeous dark eyes I'd ever seen. And so I ended up falling in love with her um, because of the exchange. And so I had not, you know, had any success with girls in the past. Um, but you know what? I hadn't really you know, tried. I hadn't really given a whole lot of effort. So I figured, you know, from all the stuff I was reading online, you know, all the pickup stuff, it was like, oh, well, you just need to be confident and puff your chest out and, you know, all of that jazz, you know, all of, all of that start, crap, you know, by being, yeah. yeah, start with being friends with her and then, you know, oh. build a relationship and then, you know, ask her out. So. That's what I thought. And I was so confident in myself, you know, at this time, um, you know, like, I mean, I was tall. I had good grades, you know, I had a, you know, f you know a fairly decent, like upper middle class background. Um, you know, I was a martial artist, you know, I ended up um, placing, you know, third place nationally in point sparring. Okay. So I was like, you know, I'm the guy, I'm the man, I am the thing that every girl wants. You know, I told myself that. So, you know, I, you know, try asking, um, this girl, you know, we, we had messenger back. Yeah. This girl, I asked her for her, like, uh, you know, messenger because that's what we had back then. So, you know, I started exchanging messages with her, you know, talking to her a little bit. And the more I talked to her, the more it seemed like she was kind of like pulling away. Mm, okay. And then finally, you know, she, rejected me outright how did she reject then, you outright um, outright did she reject you by text or yeah, people, she, people, she people by the way people me, in the you know, youtube chat are yeah. saying pedo cell how old were you if you don't want to say I? yeah i was i was 14 she okay. was 13 yeah exactly people people think this happened yesterday come on man oh uh, yeah i know okay. the autism is strong anyway so back to you this <laughs> what um yeah. so she rejected you what by text by messenger yeah see so you know i was trying to ask her if she wanted to hang out by messenger and she was like no by the way i think you like me and i'm just not interested and Brutal. you know but you have to you have to admit that that is at least it's a clear you're not gonna she's not wasting your time right that is clear 
because women, women, it's hard well, for women to be honest. Well, she did waste my time for weeks. Okay. She did actually. You know, she was saying like, "Oh yeah, we're friends. We'll hang out sometime." And so yes, yeah. When oh, trust me. Like, yeah, when no. when women don't give specific times, it means never. When women say we'll hang out exactly. some sometime, it means never. Um, yes. My friend and Five that Four got that brutal part of it. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, you know, I was in love with her, so, you know, I wanted to see her, and so, you know, I only got to see her maybe once a week at church, you know, for maybe, you know, an hour or two, and so, um, you know, I found myself, uh, you know, unable to look away from her because it was just physically painful for me not to, and then, you know, after the church sermon, you know, she messaged me and said that, you know, I scared her and that I was creepy and that, you know, oh. she, she hated me and... And then, yeah. <laughs> and then, and then there's the cherry on top. Okay. So about a week later, she ends up with another guy who has a big chin and a six pack. <laughs> and this guy treats her like absolute trash. Yeah. And the relationship breaks up after about a week because she, she finds out that he has a couple of girls on the side. <sighs> It's just, we're we're gonna see a story like that. It's just insane. It's un, it's insane how people cannot be black pilled at this point. It's insane. Like I guess women. I don't blame women for not being black pilled because their mentality doesn't allow for it. Because they, they believe women live by women's mentality stalls out. Their their ment their. I guess the word I'm looking for is developmental progression stalls out at like 16. Like they don't really progress beyond that. They still live in this fantasy world where this just, just world fallacy where if you're just good enough, um, good will happen to you. And if bad happens to you, it's because you've been doing bad. They don't really progress beyond that. So I can understand why women don't get black pilled but men that just confuses me um abe do you have a quick story yes. before i move on um uh yeah i i sort of um i asked out this girl once i, I approached her on the street mm. um i asked her took i got her number i told her i told her very like directly that i'm interested in her i i said like hey look i think you're cute i really want to take you out um, like on a date, I said specifically date, uh, we'll have dinner or something. She's like, yeah, sure. And I got her number and, um, uh, we kept in touch. We went out like, uh, three or four times. This is over like a span of like, I don't know, two months. Okay. And then, um, I keep showing interest, but she like doesn't show much interest back, but she keeps going out with me. So I'm thinking like she must be interested. But then after two months, she says like, um, uh, oh, sorry, I just thought of you as a friend. And she acts Ooh. like, uh, yeah, she acts like um, she's surprised that I'm like, she didn't know that I was interested in her. I'm like, what? I made it very like clear to you. So yeah, I don't know. Why. I, I don't know what she was thinking or why she, she, she thought I was trying to be her friend. You should have you should have showed her how mad he was at her. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, let me move on. So, uh, I think we can go to. I think it's this one. Okay. Yes. Right. Uh, this is one of my rejections. Okay. So, oh, this is brutally. This is brutal and embarrassing for me so back in 2000 i think it's 2016 i was on lookism it's a forum um anyway long story short i was on that forum um discussed looks and there was a crazy latina woman on that forum she was crazy mentally crazy um um yeah so let me let me um yeah she she said she was attracted to me and um um I was I was in I was I thought this is my chance the one woman on the inter the one woman ever 
on the internet who actually likes me this is um this is good this she she likes me um and she was in america and um she's she was crazy she said um she was attracted to cho a, um, a shooter a mass murderer she said that she liked she was attracted to ugliness she said she had some kind of psychotic issue going on. She said that her cousins are crazy. That her cousins are are in and out of mental mental hospitals. She said that they shit into plastic bags and keep them under the bed. Like this is how crazy we're talking, right? She was legit crazy. Is that go outside and look at the know that if the man were uglier or shorter, they would not be together even if their personalities are similar thank you so um yeah so she she you, I've, I've made it clear right craziness runs in her family and she this is the kind of i put up with the craziness that was you know that she displayed i put up with let me just read this interaction she had with me this was on whatsapp the crazy latina she was I found her attractive. She was mentally, her brain was manure. Her brain was actual manure. So she said, she, this was before I even, I, I, I was away. I wasn't speaking to her at, the, at this time. She said, give me that BBC. You're, you're so tall and handsome. I love you, babe. Um, heart, heart, heart. Um, I can't wait to meet you. We'll have such a good time together, heart. No, wait. So that was the last message she sent was at 3.31 p.m., 15.31 p.m. Something in her brain switched in those six minutes. And then at 3.37 p.m., the, the very next message was, no, wait, this isn't a good idea. I shouldn't do this. I'm sorry. I can't go through with this. You're too old. You're also broke. And I don't want... I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say... I'm going to paraphrase. And I don't want dirty ninja babies coming out of my pussy. She, like, racism. She, She's, yeah, she was oh, a crazy goodness. Latina. Um, I'm sorry. That's goodbye. I have to block you now. Goodbye forever. And you see my message there. What the F? What the, what the hell? So she, this was a constant theme. She would talk to me, freak out, go crazy, block me. And then five days later she would say i'm sorry and i would take her back because it was 2016 and i was still hoping that she would like me um i was desperate i was desperate um because i this was the only woman quote unquote in my life and you know i put up with a lot of racism from her i put up with, with a lot of insults from her um one of the times she said I want to fly over from the US to meet you, but can you pay half of my fare? And I thought, no, because if I pay half, you're um, you're going to keep the money. Like, I'm not doing that. I'm not so. Even back in 2016, I wasn't that much of a cuck. So um, I said, no, I'll come to you. I'll come over there. And um, so this is brutal. What's that? Okay. So, yeah. I, I proposed to come over there. So I booked the flight. It was a cheap flight, so it was non-refundable. You know what's coming next. Non-refundable was the flight. <laughs> oh, over for me. Um, and she said the exact same thing happened. She said, I can't go through with this. Go away. Luckily, I had a friend who was... Uh, visiting the same place that I was going to visit this la crazy Latina in. Um, so I visited my friend. That friend was Arab la uh, Arab incel. And um, I visited him. And uh, we had somewhat fun. It, I guess fun, you can call it. Um, he ended up roping like a, about a year later. But at least I got to meet him. So, yeah, he roped. He, he roped via fentanyl. He took fentanyl. But um, yeah, so that was, yeah, basically 
after that was probably the most black pilling moment that's where everything changed that was a fork in the road for me that's when i um i realized that if this crazy crazy latina uh, who professes to like me doesn't even want to meet me then no girl will so that's when my porn habits changed i started going into the craziest porn because i thought like why keep why stay on this vanilla shit because i need i, I need to start getting like see, i need to go off the tracks up in this bitch so my porn habits took a took a sharp right turn and um nowadays uh, if i'm i'm on some the, the, the porn i'm watching now oh my goodness it's like if there aren't at least three people a couple amputees and a blowtorch then i can barely get a semi <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So, what's what's the connection between the rejection and the porn? Uh, because I realized that if this woman doesn't like me, then no no women will. If this crazy He's trying woman to expand his horizon. Yeah, exactly. Because I thought, well, why why am I watching? No, no, not CP. Uh, why am I watching um, vanilla porn, like normal porn? I'm just gonna have to indulge myself. So, um, that's just what I did. Um, someone is calling. Okay. Oh yeah, I need to play this. People, um, don't call. Um, where's my mouse? Yeah, this is how you get on the show. Okay, right. Listen up. Looks, Looks live. live. Join, Join the discussion. Add me on Discord. Face and LMS hash four eight seven five. But don't call. Send a message to me saying call and I'll get to you when I'm good and ready. You'll never have a white girl. Please go e uh... Add me on Skype, face and LMS. But again, don't call. Send a message to me saying call. Message call to join the discussion. To get a message readout, streamlabs.com slash face and LMS one. Yeah. So um streamlabs dot com streamlabs dot com slash face and LMS one. Um yeah, so yeah, not C P all my days. So, um yeah, go ahead. So yeah, um, face. Um so I do have experience working on a detox unit. I work with a variety of um interesting characters and I have, you know, certain relatable experiences with women who are of that neurotype, let's just say. Okay. Oh right, yeah. So yeah, it was it was it was like something switched in her head. It was like a very definite moment where something just a synapse just went fucked itself up its own ass, and her brain just went to shit. And you, it was just no. Okay, I'm gonna stop <laughs> responding um, to that those YouTube messages. Yeah, something switched in her head, and um, yeah. I can't explain it. No idea. Anyway, um, back to this story. I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if people remember this. I have some extra info in this story. Going back to this story, I think I told you that um, I gave up speaking to fem cells because fem cells aren't actually in cell and they don't actually want to date someone who's maybe not who's they don't want to date sub six guys they want a chad fem cells are chad chasers yeah. some of them are actually some of them are actually banging guys and consider themselves fem cell in fact they've quote yeah. they've they've coined the term mom cell mom cell a mother who's an, invo who's an involuntary celibate um, I've heard them coin the term grandma cell. So fem cells full of shit. But um, so for a long, t a long time ago, I dismissed fem cells. I gave up thinking that I, c I could get one. This is that, that, that ship sailed. But a fem cell messaged me on Discord out of the blue um, because of my quote unquote YouTube status, right? She hadn't seen my face, obviously. Um so she she um messaged me and we got speaking. So 
there's there's more to this story that you haven't seen. If you've seen the the last live stream when I talked about this, there's more coming up. Yes, Nayla, Grand Marcel, yes. So anyway, um, this femme cell got speaking to me. Um, she was asking what kind of women I'm attracted to. So she said, this is the screenshot. She said, um, like maybe you like Zo Zoe Deschanel or Meghan, Mar Meghan Markle. I said, they're too Stacy for me. She said, um, after you show me, I'll show you mine. After you show me what you like, the women you like, I'll show you the men I like. That's what she's saying. Uh, because I want you to see that I don't like chads slash chad lights like that. So bear that in mind, right? You bear, put a mm -hmm. pin in that. She said, because I want you to see that I don't like I don't like chads slash chad lights like that. I don't like good looking guys. She's she's asserting that she only likes average guys because you know in in keeping with her own looks she's not hypergamous is what she's trying to say um okay hold up don't you guys ever wonder if these quote reality tv shows are a hundred percent credible couldn't there be possible stage scenes in some of these videos the message ain't wrong though um maybe they exaggerate what's going on and they maybe cut things out that distort what's actually happening but in i would say that in some at least some reality tv shows um they're they they actually stay true to what's actually happening but we i don't know for sure anyway so yeah she um I, so my reply was <clears throat> My reply was, okay, there are celebs who I find hot, but my preference is for girls who don't look like celebs. Hmm. Hmm. I was looking up celebs to post, but this isn't really accurate because the women I prefer are not are, are not Hollywood looking. And that's very fair. I That's the truth. I don't like Vic, uh, VS. What's it? Victoria's Secret model looking women. I like women who are, you know, slight more more average or slightly below. Yeah, I'm not I'm not hypergamous. Really. I'm not hypergamous, yeah? That's decent. And she says she's not hypergamous. Bear that keep keep running that in your mind. She said she's not hypergamous in a roundabout way. Um she said, Okay, five is the limit. Um names or pictures. I don't mind so i think she meant five i think she meant post five examples i don't know whatever it doesn't matter who cares so i this was the quickest picture i had to hand so i posted this picture forget the guy on the left i was posting the picture of of this woman as an example of a woman who's not maybe maybe not really you know above a seven but who i find still way better than me like i would be dating up if i dated her like i would i, I just posted it randomly okay so uh let's get to the next screenshot uh if i can find it apologies what is going on I cannot find this. Okay. Um, wow. Does anyone want to speak while I um, look for this second screenshot? Okay. Here it is. Sorry, because I'm doing it from the wrong. I'm doing it from the wrong um, scene. Okay. So, so con conversation continues. She says. Um, Oh no, I say, yeah, around a four to six, the type of women I like are around a four to six. She says, so now, here we go. Now she's saying the type of average guys she likes, okay? The type, you ready for this? The type of average looking guys she likes. By the way, she said that she likes black guys. I'm black, she was white. She said she likes black guys. Um, you know, 
a small part of my blue pilled brain said hmm, maybe she might like me but i i knew i knew pretty much where it was going so she said long story short she said she likes average guys like um cam newton yeah average looking guys mm-hmm. average looking guys yeah, average. yeah? <laughs> this is this is why you this is why women's advice is bullshit this is why don't listen to wh- what women say watch what they do it's f- that women are f- full of shit and so oh but yeah. but but there is some um, it's average of a given sample size and that sample size is the top 20 percent. thank you <laughs> and then she said she likes another average looking guy Jim Seu. I don't know how, if that's how you pronounce My his name, but she goodness. said average, average. Okay. That, so probably if you watched the one or two of the previous live streams, you've heard that story before, but now I found a picture of her. This that's non doxing. So she can't complain. This is a picture of her ready. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Fully over. Yep. Yeah. So that's that's um. If you, if you wanted the to hypergamy. catch that girl, you should have done so. You should have done so at the end of a harpoon. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um. It's Valentine's Day, and so um. Uh, let us remind. Let me remind you of what we're missing out on. Yeah, so um what do you think she was attracted to there? Like the way he's eating? Was it was it his was it his hat? It's his was confidence. Was it his shirt? Oh, it was his confidence. He he Maybe confident it was the number of showers he took. <laughs> Confidently <laughs> eating with a fork. Oh my god, I need to try that. That's what that's what I've been doing wrong. I haven't I need to go outside, get a plate and a fork and start eating. That's what I'm doing wrong. Yeah. All right. Uh, what else? Okay. Uh, let's look at my running order. Um, yes. Okay. This one. Okay. Incel tears. Does anyone know who in what incel tears is? Yeah, it's kind of like a blue pill subreddit that tries to help incels to stop being incels. Uh, more than that, it's a watch supposedly watchdog forum that um, basically wants incels deplatformed. They post, yeah. um, they misconstrue incels or paint us in a bad light because they want to uh, mischaracterize us. Um, so anything wholesome that we say or anything that we say that's valid, they ignore they only post the bad things that a sub set of incels say and um yeah they completely deny the black pill they think that incel incels can't get girlfriends because of our personalities it's strictly down to our personalities it's our attitude that turns women off it's purely if we would just change our attitude if we would just become more um feminist if we would become more embracing to women's suffering and the patriarchy and understand how women are um oppressed and if we would just make friends with with women and then we would we'd actually get a girlfriend feminism is an anti-evolutionary plague that must be extinguished thank you um, so this is where they're coming from. So let me read this post from, I'm guessing it's, f- it's mostly full of women. The type of people who post on incel tears, the subreddit incel tears are m- fem- feminist women, polyamorous femi- fe- uh, feminist women, feminist men, transgender male to female, um, people, I guess. 
um, and people who are like basically flat earther type people, uh, leftist, um, green voting people. Like they, they're just facts are they don't Nose deal with pierced, facts. Blue haired land waves. Blue haired, yeah. They don't deal with facts. It's all about feelings. They and they believe in the just world fallacy. They, in fact, they yep. will oppose anything that incels say even if it makes sense to agree with incels they just don't like incels they just they don't like that we are spreading the black pill they don't they don't like the black pill being out there they want us deplatformed they hate everything about us right i made that clear so this is a post from kawaii do incels understand this so some of the language she uses here is i think is a she is um sarcastic okay do incels understand this this is coming from a female sorry wait femoid right she's quoting some incels who call women femoids um anyways i truly believe looks don't matter but i'd never date an incel a few a few i might there's good people in all in all disgustingly horrible groups Nope. Okay. There, um, a few I might. There's good people in all disgust, disgustingly horrible groups. Anyone from that sub is an automatic no, though. Why would a young virgin non-land whale femoid such as myself not date an incel? Because uh, m must be because of their looks, small package, or because of Chad, right? I'm speaking for myself here, but I think most girl, I mean Stacy's, would rather not date someone with an awful personality who blames everyone else for their inability to get laid. Or is it generally a sexist or is generally a sexist POS? It's really not your looks preventing you from getting laid. It's your obsession that females are only for sex and owe you sex and your toxic personality. And that's something you can fix. Um, let me break in reading this. So they think that all incels can stop being incel by changing our personality. The, the, our toxic personality, our entitlement to sex is what's stopping women from um, getting intimate with us. I'll read on. Also, speaking for myself here, I could care less if you've never had sex, have a small package, or don't match society's standards of attractiveness. She hyphenated attractive and ness. Um, I do care if you're an awful, I do care if you're awful to people or would obviously be abusive slash toxic in a relationship. And if you're creepily, and if you're creepily and constantly obsessed with, with sex, there's much more to relationships. So that's her characterization of incels. Let me get another um, quote from this. Let me just show you the level of thinking that goes on at IT. We call it incel tears. Um, if I bring this one up. Yeah, women seem to think that we're just born with, you know, this type of attitude. That this is yeah, something that they, we just developed yeah, women, yeah, women have no Women have no um, concept that you can, these feelings can be the result of experience yeah yeah but, go ahead they think we just choose to be this way i guess yeah so this this poster intrepid fo photographer uh she i'm guessing i'm guessing it's a she she says this was in response to someone who's on on someone on the incel tears subreddit forum said that they're they haven't had sex or a girlfriend but they're they're not they're not like i'm not like incels but i'm an incel i'm i'm involuntarily celibate but i'm not like those incels um so this is her this is her words of encouragement don't despair just yet just be a nice and genuinely caring guy be passionate about the things you love and all will be well in the end so this is I women's guess. thinking. Women women believe the just world fallacy hook, line, and sinker because, like I said, women's development 
uh, doesn't doesn't evolve much beyond puberty so you know yeah. just just beyond the stage at which you stop believing in santa claus that's where women's developmental uh, progress s- stalls out it stops and then um, they they yeah. still believe that if you're a good person good things will happen to you and if you're a bad person it's because bad you're doing bad things so that is where they're coming from from they think that incels are and therefore yeah therefore if no woman wants you that must automatically mean that you are fundamentally a horrible awful terrible no good very bad person yeah in their mind yeah uh abe did you want to say something before your train comes i'm uh, not just I, okay. I agree with that what he said okay and next another post from incel tears this shows their iq oh my goodness this is this is painful okay osmo osmosis says this is this is supposedly her um her intelligent jab at us okay she said if sub eight men do not get any sex and make women pregnant where do sub eight men come from oh. <laughs> that's so dumb she oh I, 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 any, I, I don't mean to incite. I don't mean to incite. Mathematically I, speaking, is going. There's going to be a top twenty percent in any sample size you have. You know, regardless of you know where you sampled that from. But like, so, so I mean, th- there is like she doesn't even understand a thing called. Um, oh, I've forgotten the word for it now. It, um, genetic recombination. You. Yeah. If if you if you have two good looking parents, um, you can you can create incels from good looking parents. All it takes is for the wrong combination of genes to com- combine in the wrong way. If you look at Bruce Willis's daughters, uh, they have a really weird m- masculine jaw. But um, I covered it in a video. Wow, one point three, I think. Um, you can good good you know it's it's genes aren't linear in the way that they form a new person so and then and let's and and let's and for for like for most of humanity there has been women have mated with men because of money and resources and status so her um i don't know however long you think this planet has existed let's let's just say let's just say 10,000 years i don't know how long however long so for at least 10,000 years minus the last 50 years her argument doesn't apply because women were dating men that they weren't physically attracted to because they couldn't work uh, they needed access to resources they needed to yep. rely on a man as a beta provider so um the, the a thousand years minus the last 50 her argument is already rendered useless and then and then if we speak about the last 50 years or so when women were empowered and didn't have to marry a beta provider and and could pick an attractive guy where do sub eight men come from in that case well like i said genetic recombination um some men are still rich and can get or some ugly men are rich and can get a good looking or can get a wife therefore an ugly man can reproduce like that argument doesn't even it it, yeah, it doesn't even pass the straight face face test i don't know if she could, I, I don't know if you can make that argument and not be fully conscious that that's full of shit like it doesn't even stand up yeah and think for example consider the peacock I mean, you see the peacock, the male has this big, beautiful, you know, colorful tail with all these patterns. The female is this boring brown color. Well, mm. we, we would look at any average peacock and say that's a beautiful animal. But the, the reason why the males are so beautiful and the females are so bland is because the females will only mate with the top 20% most yep. beautiful, yep. the ones with the biggest, most colorful, most extravagant tails. And oftentimes, those features in nature are actually detrimental to survival. As Richard Prum points out in Evolution of Beauty, is it any coincidence that the most beautiful species are also the most rare? Yeah. 
also another yeah. point that just came up to me i'll let you go after abe um ugly women still reproduce so even if you want to just if you even if you just want to look at the last say 30 20 years ugly women still reproduce so they can produce ugly offspring so you're always going to have sub eight yep. men is you can't it's it's illogical to think that we're saying that women only want sub eight women only want eight plus men therefore um eight eight men above eight should men below eight should be fa should be phased out or should be dying out somehow that doesn't that's not what we're saying we're not saying that sub eight men don't have access to reproduction um entirely we're saying that it's limited yeah yeah abe did you want to add a comment yeah i mean like it's not a static thing like uh Hold up, I think a comment People is coming. Just... Nope. Okay, uh, no. Like, okay. people yeah. are not going to be, like, uh, 8 out of 10 their whole life, you know? Like, things change. Mm. Um, you could be, I don't know, you could be an 8 out of 10 and then, like, gain weight or something and then become a 6 out of 10. Then, like, people's perception of what's attractive is also changing all the time. Evolutionarily so, like, speaking, uh, Ted Bundy you know, was a hero when feminism just started. Raised by a single mom, he was trying to stop the plague that he was the product of. I don't agree with him, but I understand why he was created. Science. Okay, go back. Um, back to you now. Uh, so, like, uh, people's perception of what's attractive is changing. Uh, through time as well so like um, if female standards are going up yes, naturally exactly, like there's yes. going to be less 8 out of 10s th uh, the more time goes on you know? exact good point that's a good point so we're not saying that um, uh, also yeah you have to factor in that women's standards are going up so sub 8 men yep. could get had easier easier access to sex in the past because women were less picky. So we're not saying that there should be no sub eight men. We're not saying that sub eight men um, should cease to exist. We're saying that you will notice now a growing trend that women are growing in hypergamy and that less sex is, the sex is only being had in the majority um, with men over a six. Anyway, um, I think I had another quote. Let me have a look. All right. No, a video. So bearing in mind, um, incel tears think that it's our personality that's the problem. Our bad personality, our toxic personality. If only we were less toxic, women would like us, right? Okay. Let's look at someone who I guess incel tears would have to argue isn't toxic toxic otherwise their argument falls to shit all right so rich okay dude no hey, did you just look at jenna so this is john jerka or zerka i don't i don't watch him so don't quote me on that um he said did that guy just look at his girlfriend okay so watch how watch watch what a great personality he has what? Are you did, no, John? Don't I go to don't hang up. John, John, you guys can look at me, okay? I dare you to look at her one more time. John, men can look at me, okay? That's not a man. Look at him. Look at your frail you little arms. John, John, if he fucking, wants to get look a workout in, bitch. Okay? Buy my fucking training program. John, the fuck is that? Over there. Oh my god. You know she actually likes that. You know she likes that. She would. I'm, yeah. I guarantee you that the guy. I disagree with you there. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. So the studies that I have seen. So they looked at um, dating studies, but that looked at um, dark triad characteristic to see mm -hmm. if women actually attract the dark triad characteristics, mm -hmm. and they found that um, it really doesn't actually make a difference. And the reason why dark triad men are su so successful is because they actually have the confidence to go up to women and ask them out. So. 
But ultimately, what they found was even though you can get a girl's number, that doesn't that doesn't necessarily Hold correlate. Come in, come in. Jeremy Meeks, the so dark, dark triad men will get a woman's number more frequently than um, you know neurotypical men, I guess. But the fact of the matter is that women will ultimately, of all the men that approach them, will only go out with the men who are you know better looking. So I would say there is also a correlation between um, being good looking and also having dark triad characteristics. Because the fact of the matter is throughout the entirety of your life, if you're good looking, people are going to be praising you and giving you benefits constantly. And so at that point, you have no obligation to you know, treat other people well, because why would you treat other people well if other people are just going to be you know, constantly giving you reinforcement regardless? Mm, OK, but I think... I think that this woman here, obviously, that's not the first time he's acted in that way. And she, she's Absolutely. fine with it. She's fine with it. My question is, if he would act like that towards, um, if that's how angry he's prone to get in, wouldn't you, as a woman, wouldn't you be scared? Maybe he might get that angry with me if I can, if I create in him the same anger that that man created by looking over at the table. Maybe he would get angry at me. But women don't think like that. They just think he's good looking. That that's it. He's yeah. good looking. Therefore, he he's a good person, and that's it. So, insult it. Well, like, I think you know. In the minds of women, they think that if a guy is going to get more angry at me, what they're going to say is, okay, well, now I have to treat him even better, you yeah. know, so that he won't treat me badly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me go ahead with this one. So, well, can I put, say one more yeah, thing? Yeah, 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 go ahead, yeah. So, we observe that in polygamous species where hypergamy is noted to occur, for example, um, in other primates... We observe that the most aggressive males are aggressive towards other males to prohibit their interactions with um, females so that they don't, you know, sneak in a copulation here or there. Mm. So, for example, we observe in gorillas, the gorilla is, you know, like twice the size of the female. And the reason for that is because he's having to fight off all these other males so that he has exclusive access to females. Okay. On the other hand, we observe in monogamous species, for example, I don't know, blue jays, for example, and many species of bird, geese, as another example, we observe that males and females are of similar size and appearance because they're not having to compete with one another. And they're also not having to compete for attention for the, from the females. Brutal. That kind of explains why women want tall, broad men. Because I, I guess it's... It, the, what the, I'll, I'll go into that um, in the future, in, in a few minutes. But um, I guess that women want to be fought over nowadays they they they're so high value that they feel entitled to be fought over like uh like some kind of going back to what's the word i'm looking for pr pr a primitiveness we're going back to like what what sort of primitiveness the women are focused women aren't thinking at Women aren't looking at characteristic, characteristics in men, such as if he's hardworking, if he'll stick around and be a good father to my children, if he, um, I don't know, gives money to his local church, whatever. She's, think, she's thinking, is he big and broad? Can he fuck me for two hours? Can he beat up men who who I feel are disrespectful to me, even if they're not being... It's more of a primitive lust that women go for now. It's not anything to do with searching for like, good qualities like a, in a man. Like a like primitive ideas of what's considered masculine. Yeah, primitive so. ideas of what's considered a good mate. So like basically yeah. they're they're not they're not looking for anything beyond what an animal will look for. Like um Dante just said with the looking for a big broad um ape yeah that's twice their size that's what they seem to be looking for um still on the subject of good personalities this article rapists high-fived each other after brutal attack that left victim needing surgery 
the barristers of two students who raped a woman so severely she may not be able to have children have argued in court that they should be given lighter sentences because they're Italian. Um, Fernando Orlando, 25, and Lorenzo Constanzo, 26, have been jailed for seven and a half years each after raping the school teacher at the the toy toy room club in Soho, central London. But their but their barristers, like lawyers, uh, told Isleworth Crown Court the pair simply had a n- naive view of consent and de- deserve lighter sen- sentences because they come from a different cultural background. Here we go. Um, the students who had girlfriends at the time claimed the victim consented but the jury found she was too intoxicated to agree so these women want to feel protected because of primitive instincts guys who are tall and stronger yeah they'll provide the feeling of being protected which women seek a skinny man that is biological wise trash and should know his place by the way, jail baits are the best. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, these rapists had girlfriends. So incel tears are basically saying that incels are worse than rapists. If these if these rapists can get girlfriends, and incels can't, but incels are the one with bad personalities, then I guess that we're worse than rapists. Yeah. Does that make any sense at all? It, it gets to the point where you realize that look, um, incel tears are just crazy. crazy. There's no logic behind what they say. It's just feelings. They feel they hate us. They they've bought into or they believe this narrative that we're bad people. And that anything they they work from the premise that incels are bad. And then they construct their their argument around that. So they start with the premise, incels are bad, and then anything else just has to agree with that first premise, even if it doesn't make logical sense. Yeah, I I, I see a lot of them as well. They sort of, they always associate incels with terrorists, which just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so let me yeah, make, make sure I understand this story correctly. So the woman was actually defending the men partially. Um, no, I think that um, the, their lawyers were saying that they're from Italy, because um, and these guys are about maybe five point five, five point five. I guess the guy on the left is more is about a six. The guy on the right, I think. His eyes let him down, but apart from that, his bone bone structure is quite decent. So bone structure wise, about a six, although his eyes are maybe a four. But they're they're um, good enough looking, especially probably to, to they have girlfriends, right? They have girlfriends, so they're good enough looking. I otherwise they're just rapists who women find attractive. You, I mean. You either you either have to believe that women are attracted to rapists and bad personalities, or I anyway I'm just insane. Um, I have to keep moving because we are behind time. Uh, so, yeah, yo face, I'm gonna hit the restroom real quick. The whiskey is catching up to me. <laughs> okay, no problem. See you so in a go sec. On, go on ahead without me. That's fine. All right. Um, let's have another reminder of what the day is. You still there, Abe? Yeah, I'm here. All right. Let me go to here. Right. This is what we're not getting. This is the life of Chad. And now, it just is it just a coincidence that he happens to be good looking? Is it just a coincidence, or do you think that that's the the very reason? Why he's living a life like this, and we're living a life like we are. Uh, he maybe he has a nice personality. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, you, you, I mean, you you just have to jump to that conclusion. I mean, if you if you want to deny if you want to deny that looks are important, then you just have to believe that every guy who's good looking in a relationship 
it's just a coincidence and every ugly guy who's not in a relationship has a bad personality you have to work with from that premise uh, if you're if you don't believe in the black pill you just have to yeah 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 uh, yeah a lot of them like a lot of girls i talk to uh like they they always make it seem like uh like yeah just uh, uh we, we just happened to like each other it was just a coincidence uh, yeah sort of thing yeah Women, are, yeah, like I said, women's development just terrible. Um, let me get on. To like, uh, yeah, go ahead. It's like, it's like, uh, oh, I, you know, like I, I don't mind short guys, you know. Like uh, my boyfriend happens to be six three, but yeah, you know, I don't yeah, mind short guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, this last one, okay, oh, brutal. Okay, so this Bree uh, tweeted. This man really out here on Tinder after beating his girlfriend to the point where she was unrecognizable. Ladies, please be careful. Don't go near this trash. And so on the right hand side, you have uh, the, the girlfriend who got beaten. So she's there before she, get, she got beaten. And then the picture of her after she got beaten with bl black eyes. And then you've got the picture of Brad the guy this yeah. this it's almost like a meme this is almost yeah. like it's, it's almost like an, an insult uh, made this to prove yeah. the black pill it's too it's too formulaic it's too predictable yeah. the the brad which is literally a name we use to to, to um symbolize good looking men the brad um chad. basically a chad the brad good looking why wasn't this woman able to tell he had a bad personality yet women can tell that incels have a bad personality yeah, yeah the it's, incel it's the tears can't answer that they cannot yeah. answer that then they refuse to if you engage them in that kind of um conversation they just they block you they downvote you they they delete yeah. you yeah um, yeah, your looks are your personality. Period. Yeah. Somehow they know who's an incel from like miles away, but when yeah. someone has a, a personality like that, they just they don't notice it. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Next, uh, I got a message on my PC saying low disk space. So, if we go off air, it's because my PC is just full of black pills and it. It can't take anymore. I've I've got so many black pills on this PC that, um, well, it, it's amazing I don't um, go to the mall and sh and uh, shoot up. Uh, let me go to this one, Apex Fallacy. All right. Um, this is from Red Pill Women, a subreddit or forum on Reddit. And this is about as self-aware as women get which is like, you're not not very aware at all but it's kind of i guess it's the most you can ask for um this woman what's her name i was censored anyway this woman says it's a forum for women copying men again women copy men just get used to it that's just the way they are that's their nature men men invent things men men do things and women copy because they feel like because they're not original sorry having a sip yeah so this is a post from a woman she inadvertently reveals a black pill which we all know i have an extreme jealousy of red pill men it's honestly getting me down yeah it's exactly as w okay a comment is coming let's wait for that Oh my goodness me. <laughs> I'm going to have to censor that comment when it comes out. Oh, it's going to be about a minute till that comment comes. Yeah, it's exactly as it... <laughs> there you go. Beating women should be legal. It's natural hierarchy establishment like how Sun Tzu beheaded temple thoughts to establish ruler over Thotta. Yeah. Um, so, okay. Gillen Salim Gillen Salim says, Haha, face and LMS, lonely Valentine. 
ha 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 poor boy but you're watching this that I, I, I don't get, but you're watching this you're watching a two hour live stream and calling me a loser you're watching me like get it don't get it so it's, yeah it, it, there is the um i think it's the held by the dashboard crew um trying to troll but come on man you're watching me go you know there's a whole big wide internet out there you can watch anything you want you're the one watching this show um let's go back to this woman i have an extreme jealousy of red pill men it's honestly getting me down um yeah it's exactly as weird as it sounds lol i just can't help but feel like they won the lottery in life a man's value is based on getting women in bed and they found a way to do that pardon me so the the context here is that women um work with the apex fallacy women um, I'll, I'll i'll get into that after this yeah the process may not be easy but that makes it all the more valuable they they don't have a care in the world. Wake up, hold frame, spin plates. Oh, and be absolutely adored and looked up to as a result. My goodness, the lack of self-awareness in this. Go ahead, Ravens. Ultimately, you either have to be good looking or a jester. Mm -hmm. Continuing with this post. Yeah. Um, let me read that bit again because it's noteworthy. Oh, and be absolutely adored. Sorry, let me go back. They don't have a care in the world, men. All we do is, in her mind, wake up, hold frame, spin plates. Oh, and be absolutely adored and looked up to as a result. The more women they get in bed, the higher their, sel se their self-esteem. They're basically on top of the world. My... I guess my jealousy primarily stems from the fact that there is nothing we women can do that would be equal. We all know sleeping with men is nothing. I'm going to repeat that. As we all know, speaking to her, the, the female audience of this subreddit, as we all know, speaking... What's that? No idea. I think that's a subscription. As we all know, sleeping with men is nothing, something even the worst of us can easily do. The biggest proof of our value would be to gain the commitment of one of these men. But what what are the chances of that? He's just going to give up and the amazing life he has. Um, the adoration and validation. Um, oh, sorry. She... He's just going to give up the amazing life he has, the order, adoration and validation, that constant fun, doubtful. I guess I just feel like they have it better. So women's self-awareness is through the floor and into the toilet. She is speaking about the top 20% of men, yet she's she's yep. saying that yep. all men live this life. She's, she, yeah. she, in her mind... All men are banging women constantly. Like we, all men have a harem in her mind. When when women yep. talk about um, men having privileges, men having a lot of sex, men having um, living good life, a good life, they are focusing on the top twenty percent. It's called the apex fallacy, oh. where you hone in yep. on a small percentage of a uh, population or group. Women hone home in, hone in. I don't know whichever, whichever. Yeah. They hone in on the top twenty percent or the top percent of a group, and use that to extrapolate yep. across the whole group. Again, a running theme throughout the show: women's developmental uh, progress stalls out at sixteen. They they don't go on to um, be able to appreciate um, details like this. No? Yeah, I think oh. it stalls out more like 13. If you ask me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, all the men outside that range are just invisible to them. Yeah. But you notice when women are, oh, look, it's Nanya Basner's looks don't matter to women. Dashboard was right. 
He donated this guy, but not yet. Here we go. Women use the state now to control men. Naturally, women want to be conquered and they destroy now for not conquering, beating them. <laughs> uh, Nanya, <laughs> thank you for that comment. Um, Nanya Basnas or, um, hates me, hates this show, thinks I'm an idiot, thinks that my arguments can be proven wrong 100% of the time and just donate it and watches this stream. Like, why would you watch this stream? Like, I, I, I watch certain people who I disagree with, but not religiously. Like, why would you? There's something in Nanya, Nanya Basnas, Nanya Buzners, whatever his name is, a play on none of your business. There's something about him or her or it that this dream um, is triggering. In, like, there's something that is not letting this person able to just dismiss. Uh, my my views even though he disagrees or it disagrees uh maybe that triggers him <laughs> yeah um david b is sent a comment let's see if this triggers an alert thanks for the black pills face you will be in my manifesto <laughs> when you do what Thanks for the black pills face. You will be in my manifesto when I go er. <laughs> when you go er, yeah. Don't go er. Go e r. Go e r. <laughs> um, let's. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, oh. All right. So, by the way, in that comment, in that comment, um, she dropped a black pill. Here we go with Ravens. Even within seldom rising, most guys aren't virgins past 18. Most guys are unattractive since. Average is that logic, they run just a game. I don't know if I agree with that. Uh, just a game. Uh, if, if, if just a game worked, we would just do it. Incels would run any game that was needed to get a girlfriend or laid. So I don't think just a game is. You can chalk getting laid up to just a game as a, as a reliable strategy it's it works here and there but it's not reliable um the black pill that yep. she dropped inadvertently was this one she said for women sleeping with men is nothing something even the worst of us can easily do now i'm sorry to break it to people here but if you ev even if you do get a wife even if you do make it to 26 to 30 to 40 and you finally finally get a wife she will have had so much sex with chads that you will be nothing to her they they've done studies women are less able to pair bond when they've had the higher their uh, sexual lay count is so yeah. just think if you've had like any, think of anything you've had like 20 or 30 of was if you've had 30 of something was the 31st more special than the ones before was it if if you've had yeah. if you have 30 of something wasn't the first the most special absolutely so how are you going to yeah. be special to a woman when you're not guy number 31 not happening. Yep. Nope. Right. I think they, I... You know, women they build up their expectations. You know, date from date. You know. Yeah. Oh, that guy had you know a big shin. This guy had a big six pack. You know, that guy gave a good foot massage. You know, that guy could cook. It's you know every guy they have. They're building up this image of the perfect man that can you know no one can ever actually attain. But the most brutal thing is, the first guy they have sex with they'll always um remember him they will always remember mm. him absolutely and so uh all right um let's move on so uh, yeah this is a tweet from a woman lin night lin lake lin 47 lin 47 
she said this is this is the culture we living live in this is how open women can be about their promiscuity their uh lack of virtue this is how this is where we, this is what we're living in right now 126 men have nutted in me prior to my relationship and my man still loves me for me a king um one thing finger up uh, now uh, she said yes. later on five hours later she said he just broke up with me y'all won uh, so <laughs> <laughs> but regardless well that's you know um well done well done him for that Hallelujah. but the the overarching theme here is that she slept with 126 men is is it even our men's life even comparable to a woman's in terms of dating like it's not they're not even on the same wave is there it's women's dating is on like a different planet compared to men's yeah ravens let's see the, uh if that comes up as an alert so yeah the the overarching theme is that if you do get a wife you do get a girlfriend bear in mind that potentially so many men have not in her face is six three black with an eight inch p not insult even if he looks like krs1 yeah okay um yeah. all right next sir i'm just looking at my running order here uh yeah okay yeah so back back to this i just wanted to make a final point um yeah when when women refer to um men who have everything men who are have access to women when who men who have a lot of sex they're referring to the chads that treat them like shit that don't respect them that um they yep. were one a, a one night stand to them should we bring back child wives they could be groomed into perfect waifus this was natural only 100 years ago think science not in where the, the guy not, the gynocracy is only getting stronger so that's never happening there would have to be a collapse for that to happen so n not happening yep. um but yeah like i was saying um when women refer to uh, the chads the men that went sorry when women refer to the men who have dating on easy mode who are able to um get sex with a lot of women they're referring to the chads they're referring to the top 20 percent of men when women are angry at men for sleeping with them and not calling when they're refer when they're angry at men for um cheating on them they're referring to chads they so ch yep. chads um and then i'm sorry and then when um women refer to creepy guys then then they actually see the rest of men so it's like chad ch they see chad and um they see they see chad as a um the th th they hone in on ch home in on chad and um he's he's um he has access to, me uh, to a lot of women he's able to have sex with a lot of women he's um has life on easy mode and in fact sometimes they may get angry at chad but when they do get angry at chad then they kind of broaden their horizon and they see all of the other men and they include us in that so when women get angry they their yep. their ex their the horizon suddenly expands it's, it's like they take a few steps back and they're able to see the rest the other uh 80 percent of men below chad below the top 20 percent and then they're ire is f focused on 100 percent of us but it's when it comes to sex when it comes to their love and affection it's only the top 20 percent 
absolutely. All right. Um, you know, studies have shown that, you know, women, they'll sleep with, you know, guys thinking that they're going to, you know, settle down for them. But then if you're a guy and you have all these women who are mindlessly thrusting themselves upon you, what's your best strategy, evolutionarily speaking? It's yeah. to pump and dump. Yeah. Because you have options. Yeah. Which is yep. basically what women have now. Women have options. Women have access to so many guys. So don't think that you're going to get a, a wife who has a low lay count that is a shy virgin that you're going to experience firsts with her. That's not happening. Anything, if you're like over anything like 23, I would say, you're not going, unless you find like a rare unicorn, you're not going to experience yeah. firsts with your girlfriend, your first kiss, your first um, foreplay session, your first, th that's not happening. She's had that so many times. You, when you're, yeah. by the time you're 23 at least, 22, she's had that so many times. It, you're nothing special. It's not special to her. It's gonna be your. It's gonna be gonna. It's going to be special to you, maybe, but not to her. Sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry to break it to you. Um, I'm just looking at my running order here. Um, let's move on with this. Okay, just find a traditional wife. Um, yeah, like I was saying, is things are only getting harder for men and easier for women. This is my one of my arguments with the whole fem cell, women can be in cell too, bullshit. When men, um, this is the life that men lead. In fact, I think the top left and top right screenshot. I think that is a guy I had on the, on a previous live stream. A guy who is five six. I think. I think this. These are his pictures. Um, he can let us know in the comments if it is him or not he i think i'm gonna butcher his information right now but i think he was five foot six and i think he got to five foot eight i'm probably wrong on that with um leg lengthening so what they do in leg lengthening is um they break your legs um and make a space between the bones and then allow for the bones to fuse between that space. So the, let the bone grow back. So what you are effectively doing is growing back weak bone, breaking your bones, which already makes them weak. Then you're growing back weak bone between what, what you broke to bridge the gap. And you're, you're spending a year off work or school, school to... Um, basically be paralyzed all for yeah. at most three inches of height which if you're five foot ten is great but if you're five foot six if no sorry if you're like five foot four it's not gonna make you it's not gonna really gonna change your life i think i think two inches <laughs> probably is probably um the average you'll you'll get three inches is um the real top end of a surgery like that time split and shape shifter is money maxing is he is a comment coming is an alert coming this guy must be rich or have a lot of money to spend here we go go seeing the popularity of lolly can we can see child waifus are normal Old feminist hags are trying to shame us against our natural impulses, science. I can't possibly comment on that. My hands are tired. I can't comment. Um. So, yeah. yeah and if you go through with this procedure, your legs are going to look disproportionately long. Yes, yeah, 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 yes exactly. Your legs are going to be long. Your arms are going to hang short, shorter or short compared to your body. So they're going to be up around your hip. Um, I don't know, around your belly button, level with le level with your belly button, where your arms should hang below your, pardon me, below your hips. So you're going to look, you're going to look off key. You're going to look 
strange in the yeah. in the, the the vain attempt at gaining two inches of height okay so that's what men have to go through a lot of men find it worthwhile they find it um they're desperate men are desperate for a solution to their short height because women have such high standards for height but if you look at the experience of women now below um um anime titties on twitter says i love being a girl i love being a girl um so someone apple paid her 213 pounds seven sorry dollars um 78 <clears throat> and then she replied to him now you can speak to me so men are Ouch. men are paying women can you believe it men are paying women to speak to them i we've gone but we, we've gone so far beyond it's not even a case of prostitution anymore like you pay a woman for sex you get 30 minutes of starfish sex we've gone so far beyond that women's value is so high now that men are paying women to send them a text yep it's, it's crazy but it's happening i like how she's also showing it off on twitter as well good shame him yeah. and then on the right uh this chubby woman which you know i'm not opposed to because i like chubby women but this chubby woman on the right she says this man on my snapchat pays me 20 dollars every couple of, every couple days just for me to send a text saying i love him life is good but not for incels <laughs> So um, I'm supposed to. I don't. I don't know if I should reveal it, but um, I will. I'm supposed to do a talk with a podcaster at some point, who want. Um, I, I guess the podcaster isn't arguing. Um, that incels or fem cells have it worse, but the podcaster is say, is open to talking to fem cells. And um, an argument I want to bring up with that podcaster is that fem cells aren't even a th even a thing. They're not even a thing. Okay, they exist as a, a group of pe women who identify as fem cells, but in terms of their actual them actually not having access to um, boyfriends, that's just a straight up lie. If we're looking at, look, I mean look at observable reality women are getting getting paid to talk to men paid to yep. talk to men so it, it, it blows my mind how women can say that they're they don't have they're, they're unable to get boyfriends when men would be happy just to talk to them it doesn't even make sense it doesn't make sense. We're living in yeah. a society. We're living in a culture. We're living in an era where just having even I, I wouldn't even say having a hole between your legs, but looking like you have a hole between your legs, because even transgender women get um, you know, simps after them so just looking yeah. like you have a hole between your legs is enough to get thousands of men thousands of men um simping for you fawning after you so this whole fem cell argument doesn't doesn't even doesn't make sense when you compare it to what's happening in um when you compare it to observable observable reality it makes no sense whatsoever yeah. Um, yeah. I think I have a video coming up. Uh, what am I going to do? Right. <clears throat> so yeah, as if things aren't get uh, as if things aren't bad enough. Uh, let me go to here. So, yeah, things are only getting worse. I'm sorry to break it to you. Things are only getting worse. So, 
you know, maybe a few years ago, um, women had to actually go on to Tinder to get the validation. And tin it was women of Tinder age who were unattainable. And maybe if you were, I don't know, a lucky 14-year-old boy, you could maybe still get your 14-year-old girlfriend. If you're not good looking, you could maybe luck out because she didn't have access to um, men through social media. You could maybe luck out before the before you get to the tinder age like but that anyway all of that has changed women now because because tiktok is aimed at women with females from i don't know 11 i guess 10 upwards so now women from or females from 10 or whatever age i don't know the minimum age are getting constant validation from men around the world so even th that small window back when you were back out to the 14 year olds watching this um even that small window where you could have maybe locked out and gotten a girlfriend that's gone now because tiktok is the tinder for younger women so let's look at uh, TikTok in its um, all its non-glory. After time-splitting shapeshifter has um, said his comment, here we go. Women are the collective treasure of men. Only force can liberate us from feminist blue-pilled lies. Lowly waifus for all men, and that is glorious. Not happening. First of all, men, it's not it's not a suitable replacement men sorry men don't want to fuck waifus and dolls and it's just not happening it's not a it's a it's such a bad cope that it's not going to take off yeah. like fucking what waifu what's that anime or a body pillow or a um yeah. it's just not happening now you know some men may opt for that but it's not gonna. It's not happening. On it's not gonna change the dating market in any in any concrete way. Yeah. Right. Let's watch this. This is TikTok. If you don't know what TikTok is, um, brutal. It's a, a an application that allows young women to get validation, comments, likes, that kind of thing from all over the world for, for for doing what you may ask for just filming themselves literally just filming themselves miming a song or li lip syncing a song or taking a video selfie that's all it is that the only goal of tiktok for the most part is for female validation and basically as i said before it's Whereas Tinder was aimed at women above 16 or 18. So if you were a 14-year-old boy, maybe you still had an opportunity to get a 14-year-old girlfriend or a 15-year-old girlfriend because um, women, didn't, w women of your age, 15, 14, whatever, 15, didn't have access to social dating apps or couldn't make a dating profile. So you could maybe get a girlfriend. You could maybe luck out. You maybe had a you know one percent chance. Now that's done. So let's watch this. What happened? Let me talk you through that. So the song gave it away i just had sex so this woman came down the stairs with the guy she just had sex with and um this i guess this is just cluing you into a world you wouldn't know about if you would if you didn't have access to social media right now or for the last 10 years you would assume women are still the good-natured virgins, the high-virtue people that you were taught to think they are. But social media, women, social, it's, women's lack of virtue is so 
apparent that it's spreading out. You, it can't be contained. Oh, shout out to the um, manlet cells watching this. Um, I really thought he wouldn't be able to, she said. So she commented on this. Um, so, yeah, again, TikTok is for women to gain validation or to show off their boyfriends. It's a whole, it's a, just a, tool of validation for women yeah okay, do it again. okay. damn anyway mm. yeah mm. She, she looks like his little sister she's so small compared to yeah but she she lo don't get it twisted she loves that height difference yep sorry i'm taking a sip so yeah, um, this is what's going on. This is what you're not seeing. But I guess I, I guess it's good that you're able to see how bad things are, because you, if you didn't have access to TikTok, um, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know how, the what women desire, what women are doing, the relationships that are going on. Unless you saw them walking down the street, right? You'd have to... The only access... The only way you would know what women's dating preferences are would be by seeing them walking down the street. But I guess social media is blackpilling us now. It's letting us know what women what women's preferences are. So I guess it's, it's serving a... It's serving a purpose inadvertently... But that wasn't the goal. The goal of it is really to give women validation and to f allow them to show off. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Is this supposed to be talent? Clicking your fingers? <laughs> this is like the extent of women's like talent the average woman's talent or the average young woman young woman's talent it's like i can click my fingers and film it and you know it got like thousands of likes and thousands of comments seriously am i am i am i missing some talent to this is 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 there like a talent that i'm missing doesn't look like it Oh, she brought brought out the big gun. She clicked with two two hands. Let's see what's next. I'm really tall. Okay. <laughs> um. Uh. If you're short, if you're below five foot eight, you probably want to go go pee. Go for a pee right now. Go get something to drink. This is not your moment. All right. <laughs> Here we go with this. Like I said, TikTok for validation for showing off. Oh, yes, really tall. I mean, like, really, really, really fucking tall. They're the same height, you think. Oh, my pants don't fit. I can't wear jackets. I can touch the ceiling without Ouch. trying to dunk on you like I'm fine. That's actually pretty horrifying. I'm really fucking tall. And you know, the thing is, that's not the only video like that. That is a theme on TikTok. That is a, an actual theme where um, women pose with their boyfriends, the boyfriends crouching down, then boom, he's a foot taller. And women like to show off. It's like a um, status symbol for women. And the thing is, brutal. These women are still like 15 or 16. Truth. Most Stacy struggle yeah. to get attention online. I audited a girl's Instagrams using tool. And followers almost always fake. I saw her views in person 44 in several hours and 150k. Followers lol. What? 
Um, I'd have to go back over that comment because I need to analyze what happened. I'll probably do that in a different stream. Um, but yeah, be aware that it's fully over. So I guess, I guess the average age of a woman on Tinder would be maybe 20, maybe 21, 22. But now that TikTok is filling in that early gap where women weren't on social media or, or, or I guess young women were on Instagram and Facebook, but now that, um, sorry, I had a distraction. Now that TikTok is filling in that gap, it's just getting worse. It really is just getting worse. Yep. Okay. I'll deal with that next. Um, Okay, yeah, I think this is a, uh, yeah, I think, hold up a sec, I'm just checking my running order again, because I'm so organized, <laughs> not, uh, uh, let me check that, um, yeah, okay, <sighs> wow. Wow. I'm about to pray to Mecca. Um if you if you think <laughs> interruption I think that's a subscriber. Um if you think that I'm overblowing this epidemic of women getting validation that women there are still women who are attainable you can still get a girlfriend you don't have to be chad women women aren't inundated with guys messaging them women aren't trying to um virtue wait what else but just a game can ugly or average men do meg toe or jester it's all about surgery you need to get surgery so um uh, if you look at my war videos, hopefully I'm starting to go into depth about surgery. You can get the war six is going to be about surgery, um, specifically about jaw surgery. Um, war seven, I'll go into eye surgery or probably maxillary surgery, surgery, low body fat It's jet. I jester maxing isn't a thing. It's, it's, it's actually a um, pejorative, so I don't. I get. I don't get why people are saying it's an actual thing that people should be trying, or it's an actual um, way of ascending. It's not. It's a. It's a fluke. It's a way of describing a fluke. Anyway, so yeah, as I was saying, um, women in the west um if if you believe that i'm overblowing the hypergamy rampant hypergamy women trying to date up women having access to so many to so many guys women able to choose between hundreds of guys hundreds of matches on tinder hundreds of emails or messages on plenty of fish or badoo or whatever if you think I'm overblowing just how many options women have, if you th if you think I'm overblowing just how low virtue women are becoming, then take this example. This woman is a literal Muslim twerking in yoga pants. I mean, is I there gosh. any more proof you can get that society is... In women are the women have it on tutorial mode like if you there's there is this meme that um women have dating on tutorial mode which is a mode of playing a video game it's the easiest mode um it, it, if you play a video game on tutorial mode some of the villain some of the villains won't attack you um so you it's easier to win the game but if it's beyond it's beyond tutorial mode for women dating for women 
is beyond tutorial mode. It's even easier than tutorial mode. It's literally having the, the, the game developer play the game for you while you fuck Chad. That's how easy dating is for women. It's like beyond easy. So, oh my gosh, looking at that. Wow. My, wow. Uh, that is brutal. Sorry, I'm just, I keep looking at it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You know where I'm looking, right? Are you guys alive? Yeah, I'm here. I'm listening. Okay. Yeah, it's... If this is what... Yeah, this is the point. If this is what Muslim women are doing, can you imagine what Western women, women are doing? It's over. F fully. Fully over. <laughs> I don't even know how to... I don't I don't know I I don't know what to say is really is uh, do you think it's getting harder globally or just in the west Um I think the west is going at a faster rate but what what um, happened in Saudi Arabia they allow, allowed women to drive so it's it is happening it is happening in the developing sorry not I would say eastern countries but not as fast but it, it, it the west is dragging the east along with it just not as fast yeah oh my goodness me though that mm, mm, wow that is serious like i said i'm about to pray to mecca <laughs> <laughs> that is serious by the way um yep. i mentioned earlier in the stream that i had a friend arab incel that um mm -hmm. roped via fentanyl yeah um one of the one of the black pilling black pilling moments in his life was um when he had he he was unattractive and he had a and he was a muslim he had an he had an attractive muslim friend male friend um who a guy who 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 he was friends with right um yep Arab, Arab incel um was attracted to a an arab woman um i don't know her name so i'll make it up i'll say her name is was what's a good muslim name fatima fatima yeah <laughs> so he was attracted to fatima 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 um, and he thought the world of Fatima. He thought this is a an a, um, a decent girl. She's a decent Muslim. She's honourable. She'll she she can one day be my wife and raise my children. She'll be a great person to mate with. She'll be a great person to date to marry. Um, I have so much respect for her. Right, Fati Fatima. So this this Arab Chad Muslim friend of Arab incel comes along and says, "Oh, you know Fatima, check out my phone. This is my this this is my phone. Um, have a look at this video. You know what's coming, right? You know what's coming next, yeah. right? Yeah, <laughs> oh. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> this is Fatima getting it up the." tailpipe you know to avoid you know avoid not being a virgin on on her wedding day um getting up getting it up the tailpipe from this arab chad absolutely this that broke arab incel that was one of the moments that that broke him yeah it's pretty messed up that he would show him that yeah yeah i guess they they chads aren't aware of how brutal life is for us so they think that oh yeah. it's just a, okay oh it's just a it's just a video bro don't relax bro but for us it's like like it's life changing yeah um all right so but like uh, yeah do you think that 
you know, because the female standards and hypergamy is getting harder, that eventually even the chads will struggle. No, no. Um... The definition of chad is just going to be changing, you know. So eventually all of us are going to be the descendants of chad. We're all going to be chad junior. But females are still only going to mate with the top 20%, just like we see in uh, peak ox. No, you'll have your... Pardon me. You'll have your straggler women who are five. Pardon me. You'll have your straggler women who are five out of ten who can't lock down Chad, um, and will mate with a three out of ten guy. She'll, you know, have sex with him a few times, squirt out two children, and then, you know. It'll, it will be a dead bedroom situation where she's not having sex with him for the for the the rest of the relationship like she just had enough sex with him for um for for her to square out two children like so there will still be relationships like that you know where women are are not attracted to their husband where where women will marry and date a man date sorry date and marry a man but will cheat or cheat on him at the drop of a hat those relationships will still happen yep. so it's we're not mm. going to go to a situation where it's chad or nothing you will still have women who well you know yeah. settle well i think those relationships are going to become increasingly uncommon thank you, know, you. thank you the correct process. it's the is the correct answer that is going to happen mm. yeah um let me have a look at what's next all right um well real quick can yeah, i go ahead can yeah, I say yeah, one yeah, yeah. thing about this yeah so it's kind of interesting because in the muslim you know faith they allow for polygamy so for men or that women? means yeah men allow for polygamy so polygyny more specifically so that allows, you know, high status and high wealth men to take, you know, more than their fair share of females and wives. What that ends up creating is in the bottom tiers of, you know, the Muslim world, you end up with all these Muslim incels. So yes, is it I've any wonder that, yeah. throughout all of history when you have when you have a faith that says that, you you know, if you die in jihad, you're going to get 72 virgins or, you know, you can capture, you know, women that. You know, if you go into jihad and you're able to capture any women, you can keep them for yourselves. Hi, Is it any wonder that Islam expanded so rapidly during the early medieval period? We that haven't taken some... a single call during the show. Wow. <laughs> I just realized we haven't taken a single call. Bloody hell. Um, yeah, yeah. No, that is actually legit. Um, the reason why... Um, I guess you can call it inseldom in the Muslim community, specifically in the terrorist Muslim community, is so rampant. Is because, yeah, um, I guess there are there is the concept of a Chad Muslim. It's not literally a Chad in looks, but Chad in LMS, Chad in looks, money status, who's monopolizing the women, and so I guess. Um, the incels in the Muslim world feel that their only option is to, you know, blow themselves up and try and get 72 virgins in heaven. Yep. Any final point on that? Um, yeah. If, if I was Muslim... Oh, no, go ahead, go ahead. I was just going to say, like, yeah, de depriving them of sex is just kind of like a, a good way to get men to sacrifice themselves. Let me take this. Um, yeah. Me, yeah. Um, yeah, if I was Muslim, I probably would have joined ISIS in a heartbeat. <laughs> just saying. Um, okay, and if, okay, if the federal government is listening to this, I'm not actually looking to join ISIS. I am joking. Right. If okay, I haven't um I have I haven't taken any calls like a the loser I am. I'm a loser, baby. I'm a loser, baby. So, why don't you kill me? so why don't you shoot my face off? Let's take this call. It is Char as I don't wanna read out his whole name. Let's take this guy. I've 
two hours without taking a call? What is wrong with me? Yo, oh. hello, you are live on Looks Live. Uh, can you hear me? We can hear you. I think, can um, a, um, Abe, Abe, Abe and Dante, can you hear him? Yeah, I can hear him. Okay. I think I can hear him, yeah. All right. So I, I wanted to comment on this Muslim girl uh, yeah. that I can see on the picture. Um, I don't think she is uh, she's a good uh, way to show off uh, Islam because I think she lives in the West. And when a girl lives in the West, uh, without any doubts, she's allowed to do things uh, you cannot do under Sharia law, right? Uh, I don't believe that she could do this yeah. in a country with Sharia law where there legit. is... Yeah, yeah, legit. But th what that basically Third. says is that in go governments societies are increasingly are increasingly becoming more gynocentric more woman focused more um woman pleasing so yeah. societies will embrace this you just saw recently in the last two years saudi arabia embrace women able to drive that's it doesn't stop there it's gonna keep yeah. cont it's gonna continue until women I, have as many rights in the in the east as they do in the west and then it so I you agree. will see this you will see this in the east in the next few, few hundred years probably not even that long a hundred maybe yeah so yeah. Your, your point is right your point is right for the the time being definitely y yeah you you're see right now is a trend of secular secularization so pe so countries in the east are starting to become more secular and because of that uh, the introduction of democracy and secularism uh of course women also start to get more freedom and that's why you see saudi arabia and other eastern countries turning uh more liberal and more accept uh, more acceptive of women behaving like sluts but if we are going to look into the core of the Islamic religion, this is absolutely not allowed. These these girls will be stoned to death, or they will be put into a jail, or whatever. There are there are restrictions on slavery behavior. Uh, you can find it in the Quran. You can find it in the what they call the Hadith. Those are the narrations of the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, absolutely slutty behavior, and within Sharia law, this girl will probably get slashes with like you know, 80 slash on the back or something like that. She could not do this. And uh, this is, again, not the result of Islam. This is a result of introducing secularism in your society. Uh, secularism, yeah. uh, hedonistic, secular, atheistic, nihilistic uh, ideologies are giving this kind of behavior. Uh, decadence, uh, no metaphysical... Uh, no metaphysical uh, uh, core in society, and you get this kind of bullshit. So, uh, in my opinion, back to Sharia law. If you're living in a Muslim country, back to Sharia law. If you live in a Muslim country, back to Sharia law. If you live in the West, I would say go back to Christianity maxing or some traditional maxing where you have clear laws uh, fighting off this, this degenerate behavior. This is my opinion. Amen. Amen. Amen, brother. All right. Thanks, uh, Face, for letting me on the. Uh, no problem. Stream. You made a really good point, or a really good set of points. Is there any, anything you want to add? Um, no, I just want to say hi to all bros in the chat, and uh, that's it. See you guys later. Thank you. Thanks for your yeah. contribution. Yeah. That was good. No, he brought up a good point. Yep a good few points Absolutely. definitely that was good yeah um i can't believe i haven't taken callers what the hell is wrong with me um let me take a let me that was on discord let me see the shit show all right let me take this one you you, you got through straight away um i'm not gonna read your name Hello, out face. hey um, so I came across your channel like two weeks ago. What's your um, name? What's your name? I, what should I call you? 
Hello. Talk to, talk to me. Talk to me. Talk yeah. to me. Hello. Can you hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. Okay. But you have to talk for us to hear you. So, yeah, I know. I have a question. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not really like... Yeah? I'm not really a black pill. I'm six foot six. I live in um, Irish American what? first generation. No, 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 no. You're joking. You no, can't be six no. foot six. No one's no, six foot I, I six. Check, check. I just left three pictures underneath um the Discord. But um, I just have a quick question. I'm just going to leave the room. The the question um, is um go on let me let me guess the question is um I'm, I'm can can I stop having sex with women and um go weeks. to the store and uh, should I stop having sex with women that's probably your no, question no, right no 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 I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a virgin man I, like look at, at my, six I foot six pictures. please six foot six. Yeah, dude, look, look at the picture. I just sent you that. I just took them right now. I, I, I Let me have a look. Um, so I um, watched your video. The, the guys on um, Skype can't see this because it's on my second monitor. So what's oh. your, your name is here? Okay. Um, yeah, just, just, you can just yeah. say S. Um, I, I want like... like cause okay, yes. Your, um, your, your, yeah, your, your face isn't good. Know, Are you just, from like what? I have a, I have a, Belgium or... I have or... a bad chin. What? You're average. You're from the yeah, front. I, I know, but... You're not bad. From but, like, the front, you're not how, bad. How would you... Like I'm, I'm in school. I'm unmotivated. Like, how would you? You're in your mid thirties. I'm not in my mid thirties. Early. Yeah, go ahead. Hello. Hello. I guess he got laid. <laughs> I guess he went to bone some woman. <laughs> he decided, why am I listening to this stream when I could be fucking women? And he went. <laughs> Six foot six? Are you serious? Yeah, that's really extreme. Like, that is insane. Are you back, Faze? Yeah, I'm. I'm back. I've, I I didn't go. You went. Yeah. Okay. So the next year and a half in college, like year and a half, two years. How would I like? How would you go about? Because I'm I'm like terribly on, like, on masculine. I'm, yeah, nah. I mean, I'm skinny, but like, um, I, I do work out. But like, how, how, how? So you're in your mid thirties, you're black. But why do you say to someone who's twenty? And why does he keep saying I'm in mid thirties? What? Well, I mean, I, I've I've watched all your videos in the past two weeks, and that's what okay. it sounds like. Okay. Okay. What was? Sorry, I missed your point. Um, what could you do yes. to? Yeah. Well, why would you tell a twenty year old who doesn't want? I don't want to like end up like it's kind of embarrassing. I have to like go outside my dorm room just to talk to you, but like. How, how would I how would I live like, like what would you do if you were in my position you just saw my pictures what would you um, do? Like, how would you you definitely need a deeper voice yeah you yeah, need I to know. voice max I don't know what what <laughs> yeah I don't know what you need I don't know what series of treatments and therapy and things you I... need but you definitely need to speak more from the the gut Honestly, from your throat. honestly, I think that your voice is fine and dandy. If you're six foot six, your boy, women aren't going to give a rat's ass. I know, but voice, it's, you know? It's, it's, the only it, thing that's going to bring your—it's only going to bring you think, bring your looks down—is going to be your face. If your face is ugly, then women might turn you down. But honestly, I agree. My advice for you is just go up to them and ask them out. You know, because okay. women—they're not going to give a rat's ass about your personality. So you know, they're going to—they're going to yeah. judge your looks within a you know a couple of minutes. So. You know, chat with them, ask what their name is, you know, ask a little bit about their interest and then just ask them out. Go I'm not saying I'm not saying yeah, your but... your voice is a problem. I'm saying that you can add to your value by having a deeper mm. voice. He went. I think he got cut off. Or maybe he ended up having sex. At six foot six, who <laughs> knows? Yeah. Like he's back, because he's back. Um, yeah. So face, I yeah. I just have one last I think if you if you were white, like just under six foot six like I would not be doing this live stream. <laughs> I'd be in, I'd <laughs> no, be in so like, Asia. How, how would you? Like, I'm, I'm, my friends, like, they're not like they don't get girls either. Like, I'm like a computer, I'm a computer science major, so like, there's like none. Like, which country do you live in? Uh, I live in the Midwest in Illinois. My parents oh, okay. did, they immigrated here like ten, like fifteen years ago. Oh, okay. I wasn't born here. Oh, okay. Um. 
when you approach women, what is the kind of feedback you think you're getting? Well, with, with, with white girls, I'm, I struggle. Like, even if they're like a, like a point below me and they're kind of like chubby. But with short girls, I do get interest. I just kind of like, I don't know, like, I'm like, not like one to like take people on dates. Like, I'm I kind of dog shit in that area. Okay, but you, okay, so with short women, with ethnic women, it's a different response. Yeah, like his, like a Hispanic five foot four women, like they respond to me the best. Like, in oh, class. shout out to five foot four, by the way. Um, with five foot oh. four, <laughs> with five foot four Hispanic women, you get interest. Yeah. So where where does it, that go wrong? Hot. Where does that um, go wrong? Just, just like, uh, like asking them on dates, because like I, I just don't know how the fuck like that that works. That that area of like the the the. The process of getting laid. I don't I know, like, step four through six, you know? I don't think you need to be th focusing on getting laid for the moment. I think you need to be able to... Now, I'm going to get a lot of pushback from this. I know I have no excuse. Yeah. Like, like, uh, no, no, with, no with I'm, my, let me like, just... Stand. Let me say, let me, I'm going to get a lot of pushback for saying that you don't sound like you would be... If you had a woman on a date was with you... It doesn't. He keeps going. <clears throat> he keeps getting blowjobs. <laughs> I think this guy is getting laid while he's speaking to me. Are you back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what's happening. Do you just not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So face? yeah. So anyway, me, yeah. I, I was saying. Yeah. Um, I I I will sound like a blue pillar from this but it sounds like um sure. you you get some interest from women but um i don't know if i don't know if it is a, a self-esteem issue but um i don't think so I, I can talk to anyone it's just like i, okay. I don't know how to like go about having sex i don't, I don't you know, know so okay works. so where so when you're trying to have sex where where does it go wrong does it? Do you have it's, the girl lay down like, on your bed and then you, then something like? No, no, where does it go wrong? No, I, I, I haven't even got to that position yet. Like, oh, text them. Like, I'm good at that stuff. Like, sparking interest that way. I, I just, I just don't know. Like, I've never asked. I've never fucking like, outside of prom. Never asked a girl out. I don't know. Like, I know this sounds like dumb as fuck, but like, I, I know. Like, I know the process of getting laid because like none of my friends. We're, we're all like, like we're, we're learning Java and Python and shit, and like we're not like we don't do this shit. No, C sharp, bro. Get on C sharp. <laughs> See, are you from the <laughs> what, what, what program are you making? That would be dog shit. No, I said high. C sharp, not C plus <laughs> plus. Yeah. So anyway, um. But but like, just yeah, yeah, yeah. something's up. Like like you're you're black. You're like short okay, all right, you're okay, like, okay. I, I, yeah. I oh, brutal. So okay, um. Okay, I'm I'm a woman. Let's just role play this. I know it's not going to be exactly how. <laughs> It's not going to be exactly how it works in real life because yeah. you, it's the situation is not right and you would have different um in different what's the word I'm looking for uh, there's a probably there's a good word I'm looking for but I can't find it you would have different um things to work off you would have face to face reactions to work off but um so um I'm at a bar and maybe maybe I come up to you because you're six foot six. I say, what should what should I call you? What should I call you on this stream, by the way? Um, just call call me uh, Mickey uh, M Mickey Mouse. Okay, <laughs> uh, all right. Hey, Mickey. <laughs> What's up? What's up, Face? How's it going? I, I guess I'm okay. Um, I hate I hate work. I hate school. This is gay as fuck, but never mind. Like, just, just sweet, just uh, above. We're above that. So yeah. So I just, I'm, I'm giving you short answers, but I'm still interested. Yeah, I hate yeah. school. I hate work. I'm, oh, this is how. This is how women. This is how women sometimes talk to you. So they're not giving you anything to work with. So I hate school. Yeah. I hate work. Uh, I don't think anyone's a big fan of either of those. But you know, you just gotta keep grinding, and you know, things will work out. Okay, let's skip ahead. Um, so you're trying to get me to your place, right? So um, yeah, I guess I could come to your house. 
Yeah, it's great. I have some booze upstairs, and in my room I have some uh, Jack Daniels, so we can make some Jack and Cokes and have fun. Okay, so where is the point where this fucks up? Like, no, it's like, I don't even get to have, like... like <laughs> sorry, sorry, some commenter said I'm cooming, so <laughs> we're turning him on. Okay, uh, let's, we'll, we'll, we'll um, film a um, porn after this. Sorry, so where is the point where this, this fucks up? Oh, he's going to get laid again. This guy, okay, for future reference, can you stop getting, future callers, can you stop getting blowjobs during your call with me? Why does he keep disappearing? Okay, I'm going to, we're going to have to move on if this guy can't keep up. He's too tall uh, to, I did. okay. Yeah, I, lo I lost you. Okay, so where does it? Where does the interact? Because I have to keep moving. I have to keep moving. Um, where does yeah, the interaction um, fuck up? So, so b between getting their phone number and like, because we I can bear in mind what we just had. You, I you invited me to your place, and I'm willing to come up, up up the stairs. Where what? Yeah. What? Where is it? Where does it fuck up well, from that point? I, I don't get like. I'll meet them in class. I'm, so, I'm like I'm cool in class socially. It's just but between text game, if you can even call it that, and getting them to my place, I I can't like asking them out. A, a weird thing. Like I just can't. Uh, I struggle to do that. You know. Okay. It sounds like this isn't a um, looks problem. It sounds like this is a um, PUA problem. Which I don't. I'm not fully against PUA. I think that PUA oversells itself as the um uh the solution to ugly men's problems but it in your case i think it probably could help you um you know you need to learn to be a bit more flirty you need to learn to be a bit more um um <sighs> hard to get and um um yeah, I don't have time to go into this now, but I don't think your problem okay. is looks. But um, I would like to. Can you can you watch um some PUA and come back and see? Tell us what didn't work for you and what you found to be yeah uh bullshit. Like if you just delve okay. into PUA, tell us what you found works. Tell us what you found doesn't work. Tell us what where, where you're still stumbling, and w then we can address that in a future show. Yeah. What kind of time? Like two weeks or a month? Like what um, the next weeks? live stream. The next live stream. He's gone to get laid again. Um, let me get a S Skype caller on. This show is going to be the another seven-hour live stream. I did that before. I'm I'm trying. I'm desperately trying not. Yeah. So basically, um, you're back. Basically, what I'm saying is, um, do some PUA. Find out where it's bullshit. Because PUA is like I don't know. 80% bullshit but there is some truth yeah. to it so find out what doesn't work like if you know how to text a woman like say for instance all right let me let me just very quickly um let me say you're the girl um mm -hmm. and I'm a, um you're the girl I'm approaching you we're in a bar um let me try and be so I'm the guy okay so I'm looking at this picture of you that you sent to me. Yeah. Um, I don't know what. I, sent, I, sent I don't three, know. Right? I don't know what football team that is. I don't know what soccer team that is. Um, I'm gonna make it up because I don't know what team it is. Uh, As, I I don't I don't support. Oh, uh, Barcelona, that team. Okay. Uh, um, uh, what is happening with your voice? Yeah. Uh, um, I I don't know. Okay. Uh, the campus building, I'm in this kind of shit. They're shutting you down. Um, so let me be really quick. Um, I'm approaching you. You're a girl. I don't support. If the, if you're gone, I'm I'm going. Are you still there? Okay. Um, we'll do this another time. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. You're there. Um. Let me be quick. Um. I. What's the the name of the team again refresh my memory 
Barcelona. Barcelona. I say. So I'm approaching you. You're a woman, and you're wearing that kit. That kit. I'll say. Yeah. Hey, I don't. I don't support Barcelona. They're what a bunch of losers. <laughs> you know, I'll just come um, up to you and say that. Like, and then you I'd put it this way. Oh, he's gone. All right, let me take another caller. This is a joke. This is insane. One more try on this this call. Talk about testing. Hello. One um one more try. Yeah. I'll just yeah. I'll I'll so I'll say Barcelona is Barcelona is garbage. Like you need to support Manchester United or something. Like just open up with that. Um. Find out if there's any dynamic between you two i think that i in my quick estimation of what's going on is that you're running running out of steam you can get some initial attraction going but you just don't have enough to work off so i do some pua obviously um i'm not saying that looks don't matter i'm saying that at your height you will you should be able to get something right yeah yeah for sure um that is a crazy height in the u.s six foot six that it's not like the no I, I, I'm, a, I'm a shade i'm like six foot five and like three quarters I, oh I, that's what it was you're six bed, foot you're, you're six bed. foot six um it's okay. not like we're talking the netherlands where you're like you know average oh uh, average ish you're you're yeah. you're towering above people um but your face <laughs> isn't great from the side but you should be able yeah. to get something. Um, t um, can you document your approaches and yeah. let me know uh, started, where you're stalling out? Let me know where it's yeah. falling to bits. Like, it, is started, it falling to bits? I started, at the... journaling on the, I started journaling on the first of the year. So, yeah, I'll do that. That's no problem. Okay. And call back soon. Yeah. The next live stream. Yeah, I want to hear no from problem. you. All right. Let me know in, right, so... in detail where it's going wrong. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. That was long. Um, does Abe, Dante, anything to uh, add? Um, I just sent you a video about POA because you mentioned um, um, how POA oversells itself to uh, ugly men. Okay. Um, let's get let's get this guy on. And I guess it's my fault for not taking callers earlier. Uh, let me take uh, this guy. I'm not taking it in order, which is terrible of me. Let me take this guy. This guy is not from an English-speaking country, so <sighs> this will be quick because... Um, Because I don't want to put people through the his accent. Hello, 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 Dom. Oh, hi. Thank How you for you? staying up. You're from Russia, right? Uh, no, no, no. I'm uh, from Romania. Okay. Maybe I have. I'm trying my English. Okay. So, what do you, uh, what point did you want to add? into the stream that seems like it's going to go for a few hours. I really intended it to be two hours, but, you know, I failed. I'm a loser. I'm a loser. So why don't you kill me? Um, Go ahead. Uh, well, I have uh, been um, a PUA, so to say, not an artist uh, for uh, five years now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> So the lad says vampire cell. Yeah. So how did the how did is is Eastern Europe as bad as Western Europe? Well, uh, if you are uh, a native, so to speak, is uh, worse. If you are an Italian or a, a French, you, you, it will be much better for you here. Okay. And, so uh, is is that status? Are, is that status? Uh, women are attracted to status, right? Because exactly. obviously, if you're if you're from Eastern, sorry, if you're from Romania, and approaching Ro Romanian women, then you probably earn a Romanian. This, okay, this 
must be yeah, the yeah, most yeah, boring. Yeah. Okay, so you're probably earning a Romanian um, wage if you're Romanian. So they probably want to speak to foreigners, right? Westerners. Yes, especially, especially Italian because they are uh, uh, not called as the German. It's more about uh, memes. Okay. You know, women, something like that. I mean, uh, so what's your experience? So what's what's your experience with women in in your country? Um, uh, well, I score uh, in five years. I score, score only two girls. You you two sorry times. you what so, you fucked? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Anyway, so it's a very low score. Okay, where they, fact, where they how did those situations come about? And the obvious question that. Um, normies would ask is why don't you do the same things that triggered those lays to get future lays you know ignoring the fact that th those lays were flukes but you know aren't you know just honor um indulge me like what what why how did those lays come about and why can't these lays come about again Is there a like time zone difference between me saying words and them being received in Romania? Probably. <laughs> or did Romania um Romania probably has like what like one internet connection and then <laughs> everything is rooted through that one internet connection and it just went down. Maybe he just killed himself. Maybe he realized, in fact, maybe <laughs> you're right. Maybe um, he realized it's over. Okay. Maybe well, he picked up a gypsy girl. <laughs> oh, wait. May he's muted himself. Maybe he's um, a family member came in the room. Okay. While he's um, dealing with himself, let's take a. You oh, you're back. Yeah, I can hear you. you yeah. So oh, I'm sorry if you get uh, lost. Uh... You got what? No, oh, okay. Uh, well, uh, let us uh, so to finish my uh, point. Uh, yes, they yes. were attracted by my, uh, how I look, basically. They were attracted so by I, your looks, okay. Uh, I didn't use any game with them, basically, it was, it was straightforward, so to speak. Yeah, basically. Basically, it was, it was ob obviously from the beginning. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. And uh, one was average girl from provincial girl, so to speak. Okay. Yeah. Um, so she was new in uh, the town and probably... Nobody picked her out, and it was a novel thing for her, something like that. Okay, okay. so you got two okay, ladies. So, so what I is have um? So many ideas that... Yeah. So what? Oh, what oh, do you think? Tell. What do you think? Um, you could do in the future to get a girlfriend, if anything. Or do you think what it's can impossible? I do in the future? Yeah. Well, uh, I intend to become um, something like a street fighter, or uh, what? I mean, uh, I have uh, oh, that's funny. Uh, something very strong funny. You're sucking powerful. my dick with no teeth. That's my uh, goal. You what? That, I mean, I'm I, confused. I have many, I have many fights with jealous boyfriends that uh, I mean, they saw me with talking with their girlfriends on the street and become jealous and aggressive and stuff. Okay, this call is losing me. Um, um, wow. No, you don't hear me. No, I can hear you. Well, I can hear you. I just, I can, no. I can hear you I, and I can understand what you're saying. But yes. mentally, I, I, I'm... I feel like I've been blasted into outer space and I'm trying to figure things out. What are you saying? 
What what is your problem? Uh, what is it looks? Uh, my problem is looks. Absolutely, yes. Okay, so you said you're gonna yes. start fighting to get attraction. Uh, yes, basically being so how's, being how, more aggressive. So, so explain to me, the, explain to me how fighting is gonna grow your jawline. Well, uh, I don't know how. I mean, I can uh, just chewing gum, doing more of chewing, more of chewing gum. Yes, the only thing I can do, and uh, just to be be look aggressive more aggressive piercing in the eyebrows in the ears in the nose Just okay be interesting okay do me if a I favor can, okay okay. okay do me a favor like uh, do that masculine yeah. max and tell me how that goes right call back in uh, a future show sure, and tell me how that goes sure, yeah. sure. I, have to, I have many ideas but now they are mixed up and i can't uh, talk uh, well so uh, i maybe we talk some other times I thank you know. thank you okay anyway thank you thank you very much thank bye you bye. bye so so can i comment on that real quick what the hell was that about is he serious um yeah go ahead yeah so as somebody you know who has a background in martial arts you yeah. know like i said again i place third place in point sparring nationally I think that, you know, being a badass actually makes women more repulsed by you because now you are becoming the thing that women want protection against. I think it maybe depends on where you fall in the LMS spectrum. So if you're, if you UFC, someone just said UFC Max, if you UFC Max as a Chad, obviously that helps. If you UFC Max Absolutely. as an as uh, Danny Danny DeVito, then it just means an ugly guy will get access to my genes in a woman's mind. So it depends where you fall, I guess. Absolutely. Um, let's get back to this because we've been off. We've been um, taking these calls for a while. Um, let me read this post that I am. Um, I re there's there is a post on short sales on Reddit that I replied to. Um, I just thought it might may, may be pertinent to me to, to um, speak about here. Uh, someone posted it was Lord Epley. Shout out to Lord Epley. He asked, "Why do femoroids women like tallness so much?" And then my reply was very quick. It was, um, one, sexual dimorphism, as in going back to what you said, Dante, um, women want to yep. be dominated by someone that's a male that's taller, broader, stronger than them. Yep. So sexual dimorphism, the difference between men and women. Two, tall height makes women feel small and feminine. Women, women want to feel small and feminine. Yep. Um, three, tall height makes women feel protected. Yep. And then four, finally, height is a measure of your bones. Bone law. Women love bones. Women are boneheads yep. who want to be boned mm -hmm. by men who have who have the most bones. So it's all about bones. If you have bones in your jaw, if you have bones in your spine, if you have bones in your yep. femur, if you have, it's all about growing the most, the longest and most dense bones. That 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 yep. that's that is a, the biggest component to attractiveness. The most bones, bones in your yep. uh, maxilla, bones bones in your um or maxillary bone projection um mandible projection it's all about bones it's all about like that accounts for so much attraction to women yep yeah okay. but the bones yeah. have to be the right shape as well right oh yes yeah yeah they can't just be growing you know <laughs> out of out of sync they need to be in some kind of proportion in, in some kind of harmony yep. right 
Um, all right, so let me move on to this issue. I need to go pee. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, all right, I'm going to do this. I'll take a break all at once. <laughs> we'll, if we take a break, people will leave. Um, I could do that. I could take a, like a 30 second break. All right, what, what I'll do, let's. Uh, I'm going to take a break. And I'll be back in like 30 seconds. Um, so everyone start your stopwatches. I'll leave it like this. So start your stopwatches. I'll be back in 30 seconds. All right, everyone go. Now, now, now. Go, go, go. I'm, do I'm doing the same. Okay. All right. Hello? Talk about unprofessional. <sighs> All right, I'm back, right? Is everyone back? I'm here. <laughs> okay, and um, I think we know who the rich cell is because Dante has to walk to, to the west wing of his house to go to the Your toilet. Your boss, I'm here. Oh, you're back. Okay, okay. You're not as rich as I thought. Okay. Um, All right, know. back with this now. Female depression. So... Let me get into this. Back in, I don't know, <laughs> P-Cell. Mighty Wolf says P-Cell. Um, a long time ago, I used to be on depression forums. I thought, before before I got into inceldom, before inceldom was a thing, um, I, got, I was into depression forums i thought this is where i can be heard and understood and have empathy felt for me um this is this is where i need to be depression forums depression forums these people there are people who feel like me and are in the same situation as me and then i would be reading a, f a post on a forum and it, it would be like um it would be like Everyone hates me, and I'm a loser. I'm low IQ. There's nothing in this world for me. Um, I just really want to die. I hate this world. Um, I can't cope. I, I'm struggling. Every time I wake up, I'm, it's depression. I can't cope. And I would read these f threads on these forums, and I, I, I'd be like, yes, that's me. That is me. I feel the same way. And then... um. I'd re I'd get not knowing the gender of the person posting the the thread and I'd read th like three paragraphs deep and it would be like no one understands me this th this world is so cold and lonely and I hate life but my boyfriend is so supportive and I would be like I'd be raging cuz I'm like you just took me on this on a wild goose chase i thought i could identify with you but it turns out i can't and then that happened so many times that um well it, well it, dro it drove me crazy and then um i i decided i can't keep doing this 
and um i stopped going on um depression forums entirely like i just just gave up i thought it's just full of full of women who are moaning about their petty problems and who actually have support actually have love actually are living a normal life um and luckily incel forums came along and you know the rest is history i i found my place but um this this um this meme i think this meme is um quite apt for us to go into our next topic female depression so this meme is a comic strip of this woman are you you guys there abe and dante yeah yeah i'm looking at the picture yep i'm here okay all right so um this meme this woman holding a glass of a cocktail she says it's just been really hard dealing with depression these last few weeks i know it's embarrassing but it's true i'm broken i'm scarred and i'm so lonely i just feel like i have no one at all and that's the worst part having to go through depression all on your own with no one by your side you know and then it cuts to a man who's supposed to be listening but he's he's hanging himself and then she says, like, oblivious to his suffering, she says, anyway, I got a date in 20 minutes. See ya. Thanks for, for being a, a good listener. And um, that sums up women's experience of depression. It's, uh, it's, um, yep. I, I'm depressed. I'm, I sa I'm sad. I'm lonely. But I still have guys who are attracted to me. I still can date. I still lead a normal life somewhat. I still have... I'm still going to reproduce. I'm still going to uh, reach my genetic potential, my or reproductive um, potential. I'm still going to be normal. I may feel bad, but I'm, everything is still going to work out. And if you think this meme doesn't actually work out in real life... Then let's go with this story. Um, shout out to Dutch cells and African cells on this one. Uh, let's go. Diana Marshall, love story, take one. So in the beginning, he thought I can do nothing for myself. If my glass is there, I'm like, uh. <laughs> hi, I'm Marshall. I'm 25. This is my husband, Dwayne. He's 26. Seven. <laughs> I must just remember his age. And we're from Pretoria. They're from South Africa. South Africa. Okay, here we go. The night we met, we went for what name is it? Jacob. The checkup. I met him at my aunt's lodge. I was like, no, he's too hot. He will never go for me. That's the what you. That is what you want a woman to think of you. You want her to think, oh, he's too hot. He would never go for me. You want a woman to think that. Like anything below that and you're, 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 you're average to her. And she thinks she can do better than you. So that is the ideal thing you want to have her think. And I, yep. went, and I was like really sore, so I went to bed. Then he came and visited that weekend. I only saw her for five minutes. Yeah. That night when I met her. Yeah. yeah. Mm. From the first yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I describe Dwayne in one word, it's good hearted. She's ongelooflijk. Ongelooflijk. So this is Afrikaans, right? Ongelooflijk or some shit. Hmm. Does my hair look okay? <laughs> but I've cut this because it's too long, okay? There was a bike that it like pushed me off the, the road. Oh. It was on Carla's side. Yeah, she didn't make it. Yeah. My heart is five kids stopped. Um, once they said, okay, say your goodbyes, it's done. And then all the sisters in ICU came and prayed for me. Mm. And then. No legs. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she has no legs? No legs. But you may think, oh, but. He met her when she had legs and he stuck by her side. Nope. 
in the hospital, they put my legs off the wrong way. They didn't file it off. It really looks like they just broke it off, but it's fine because otherwise I wouldn't have met this guy. <laughs> I found out um, FMI from my mom. She actually sent the papers in and then like a week afterwards I was in the accident. I didn't even pay one premium by you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm covered till I'm 75, so I don't have to worry about getting income somewhere. Um, FMI really helped me. We wouldn't be able to do... Yeah, so anyway, um, she met him when she was in the hospital as an amputee not even like she did 10 years as an amputee and then met him occasionally um while i don't know wheeling herself around a park no literally um as she was being her legs were being amputated within hours she had already met her future husband this is how easy women have life and the thing is going back to um going back to what i was saying earlier about um i think i uh, did i describe it um yeah anyway men have a desire to rescue women from their lives so when, when men want to rescue women from their life. So if a woman has yep. autism, men will be like, oh, well, I, I don't mind her autism. I'll be there for her. I'll be her strength. I'll tell her social cues. I'll rescue her. Men think, oh, she's poor. I'll be her, um, the guy who pays for things for her. She doesn't need to... to want for anything i'll be there for her um a woman is really 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 short she's a midget oh she thinks she's too short for love i'll be there for her i'll be the one she needs a woman thinks she's um any, any just name anything just name anything and men want to be there for a woman men want to Is, is is I don't know what that is men want to be the um the protective force the um rescuer savior. the savior thank you thank you the savior to women so when women say that oh, I I've heard women say that I have autism and it's just as bad as when a man has autism. No, it fucking isn't. No, it isn't. Because when when a woman when a man when a man has autism, how is he gonna approach a woman? How is he gonna come up with meaningful conversation and be confident and dominant dominant when he has autism? It's gonna be very hard. But when a woman has autism, she can sit back and be approached and just say yes no and that is it that is all she needs to do so women have it's it goes beyond um women um it goes beyond women okay let's take this call hello 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 who is this Oh, it's just Snake. How you doing, mate? Hello, Snake. You are cockney as hell. Yeah, yeah, I know, mate. I know. I was just, um, I was just watching the, um, the old broadcast, and I thought I'd, I'd call in. Okay. What do you have to say? Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Let's Thank just, you. let's just piss straight in the bottle and pour it back out, mate. I think <laughs> women have it a lot easier, a lot easier than men do. Think um, they you get the think. Pick. You're right. It's not even well, think it's at obvious. this point. Yeah, we know, don't we? We know. It is. It is. It is a mathematical certainty that you've uh, got to have the looks, boy. Um, <laughs> don't worry, I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, mate. Like, I, I did want to make a point though, if you don't mind me going slightly off with the yeah, whole yeah, thing. yeah. Go um, ahead. I think, I think the thing with women is like, I think looks will actually 
um, diminish in their sense when money's involved because wait you'll wait get wait wait explain girls. explain that women looks will diminish in whose eyes for them in yeah so basically what I'm trying to emphasize is so you could be a Chad right and you've got a woman who's with a man who's got a lot of financial security. Yeah. Um, they will admire and and lust for chads, okay? Um, yeah. But they might not. They won't want to settle with a chad because they will just want the money at the end of the day. So that as as long as their husband's got the money put on the go and they've got themselves a wallet, they're not that bothered. I don't know. You know You're I mean? giving women too much credit for like forward projection and forward consideration. Women don't think, think that far ahead, or unless they're like you know literally. Oh, 35 tr trust and... me like they do they love they love um they they love financial security a lot a lot a lot no of, no well, um... okay um after a certain age they do but the average 20 year old woman is not thinking this bad boy tyrone this bad boy chad won't be with me in the next 20 years i should really i should dump him right now She's not thinking that. She's oh, well, thinking. Yeah. She's thinking. Yeah, when, when my pussy's younger, so wet. They're looking. Their brain's going. Oh yeah, look, he'd be a good brain. Man. Wait, wait, bra there is a... wait, wait, wait. Did you say little, brain? Little brain. <laughs> yeah. Brain. brain. <laughs> no their brain. On the go. No way. It's pussy. It's just straight pussy. They're straight, they're, they're wet. It's straight, straight, straight vaginal. Is it? Is yeah, that what yeah, it is? Yeah. I see, I see. There we go. Got it. Got it right. Got it right. <laughs> um, no, like, but I, I do think, like, obviously, uh, the human brain takes a lot. What it all comes down to the whole symmetry thing, doesn't it? Where if you've got a good face, uh, it takes less processing power, and it, the longer it takes a brain to process, the more it's going to put someone off, and that's it. All comes down to that, doesn't it? Really. That's you know a good I mean? point. That is an interesting point. Like, I guess. That's a, the funny thing about the human I brain guess, is yeah, yeah, yeah. brains yeah. brains hate processing. We're all lazy. We all like to just have easy things in life. Whether you like it or not, everyone likes an easy route. If someone says you can go from A to B, you can do it quickly, you'd rather do that than take the long route. It's exactly the same with a brain. You look at someone and you go, oh, that's nice because it's so easy to process because everything's just in the right place. Like if a, if a guy or a girl's face is lined up correctly, you take it in correctly. But if it's asymmetrical, you go, oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's taking longer to take it into the brain. And that's what women do, men do. And that's the whole primal side of it. And that's what happens. You know, you can't piss in someone's pocket and tell them it's rain. Absolutely. <laughs> I you know love I mean? that. I love that. That is, yeah, exactly. Um, it, yeah, I, 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 I don't know what to add. Like that was a very I mean, high, high IQ observation I don't, you made there. I don't struggle on the dating side of things. Oh, like, Chad, I, get out of here! But I watch. No, the thing is, the problem is not. It's not a problem. I absolutely admire your channel and your videos, and I watch them all the time. And I think Thank this you. guy has got it on point because so, so many people beat around the bush so yes. many people go oh you know this doesn't matter it, i know it matters it does it's, it's amazing it's how it's life. denied like i th I think a lot of incels would be with me in saying that okay i don't expect women to be attracted to me when they have so many options i don't expect women to be fawning over me when they have little chad lights and normies well, clawing like, clawing at them it. clawing at them i don't expect women to be um giving me attention but the at, at the very least i would like for lookism to be acknowledged especially especially um the the lookism that men go through the the lookism that men experience in relation to hypergamy like that would be that would mean so much to a lot of incels like if you just acknowledge that men are low value and sub five men are terrible value, oh. then that would mean so much to us. I the forgot the thing point is, you made. Though, yeah, I think the I think the funny part of it is is that women that are slightly less attractive have more attitude than the ones that actually have the looks. 
If I'm sorry, honest. sorry, sorry. Women who I've... have less looks, did you say? Yeah, they hold they hold themselves in higher value. It's like they overcompensate. Yeah, right. because they, I um... guess I guess that um, low slightly lower women, lower value women, will reach out in ways that will net them more um validation i guess like an attractive woman she may be happy going about her day um getting validation in the street getting validation at work but a low value woman will seek out validation online she'll seek out validation on they're twitter the ones get their, they're the and, ones that will get their tits out past the yeah, bloody, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. scaffolding yeah. site and they'll yeah. go oh someone just whistled at me oh oh cat caller oh look what happened there and they'll po yeah. post it everywhere so I mean? yeah yeah so it's it's i guess it's a way of inflating in their own mind their val their value because i guess the the, the ratio between um a tr what um validation attractive women get and average women get is not that different they're kind of almost on par but average women will seek out more ways of getting validation because it makes them feel better because it makes them feel like they're actually attractive like the attractive women so um then the overall effect is that they end up getting more attraction or more validation so they end up being bigger headed than um attractive women do you see what yeah, I'm saying? Because the thing is, attractive women they they get daily recognition and that people talk to them and because they're so used to being talked to, uh, that when they get spoken to by anyone, they're much they're actually much more friendly than the yes. old the old uh, lesser attractive female variety. I've heard that. I've heard that it's actually. In fact, there's an anecdote. Much more easy to approach a, a nice looking lady. I can tell you that from experience. Uh, but if you approach a lesser attractive breed, they will actually shun you off as if it, they've they've won an award. Yes, because yeah, yeah, they yeah. Think they're that good that they've put you away and gone. Oh, you know what? I've just pushed away a all right looking guy. I've actually heard this in good. so. I've actually heard this in so many I, different circles. Um, I'll when, let you, when I'll let in you, theory, hold up. when you um, spoke to them, you is it? Um, and I walk past you in the club. Um, is it Adi, um, Abby, I'll, I'll get to you after this point. I've heard from so many different circles, red pill, black pill, blue pill, that yeah. attractive women, they're, they know if you're, if you're, if you're like a three out of 10 and you approach an eight out oh, of yeah. 10, they're, yeah. they're flattered that you tried and they're not insulted. They feel like, oh. Oh, he tried. Oh, well done. Um, I know I have a boyfriend. Thank you, but oh, well done. Um, and they, they can for, they can let it go. Light bulb and fuck <laughs> off. Yeah. yeah, they can let it go. But if you're a three out of ten and you approach a four out of ten woman, she's thinking, this guy thinks he's on my level, and he actually is kind of oh, close. Absolutely. So absolutely. this is actually an That's insult. This is he actually thinks he can yeah. date me. He's one point below me. Like it's not cute anymore. It's not like a puppy yeah. with the, the the eight out of ten woman being approached by the three out of ten guy. It's not cute anymore. This guy actually thinks he has a chance with me. He's insulting me, and then the the oh, the yeah. re rejection is worse. And I've actually had that. Um, uh, Abe, Abe, go ahead. I, oh yeah, I've had that experience too. Uh, uh, the average women tend to give harsher rejections for some reason. I was I mean, going to press this. Where would you boys put, your, put yourself on the scale of things? Where, on the scale of things, where would you boys put yourselves? Okay, I am a solid... What was, what was that? I didn't, I didn't get that. Oh, 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 just the music. Yeah. You just got music. Yeah, that's uh, me. So that's, that's, a, that's a solid... Dead. Uh, Almost a crescendo there, but um, <laughs> well, not really a crescendo, a mellow crescendo, let's say. Yeah. Would you? What, but I, I would like to know where you put yourself. Where would you put yourself? I'm a two, uh, maybe a three. Oh, you can't ten. be that bad, come Trust on. Trust me, I'm about a two to three out of ten. Well, I we do exist. I've we also do been exist. rated roughly a two. 
You've been Based rated on the a photos two. that I've uploaded and that women have rated, I'm roughly a two. Brutal. Come join me. But the thing is, you're 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 a two without makeup. Wait till you see the girls that are twos with oh, makeup. Oh yes, yeah, 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 like yeah. Without exactly, the makeup, yeah. you yeah. know what? It works both ways. You have got to have the looks, bitch. So uh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Which, That's great. Bitches have got to have the looks as well. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, um, um, what's what's your name but, on this? What's your alias? Solid Snake. Solid Snake. <clears throat> hey, call back if again. You you... The video, video game Metal Gear Solid. You'll you'll know Solid Snake. Solid Snake. Yeah. Um, please call back again. You've been a funny caller, and it's been good having you on. Well, do you want to make a um, final point? Do you want to make a final point before before you go? A, fi a final a final point would be. Um, yeah. Kill yourself. Keep your pecker up, boys. Don't get a fucking rope just yet, and uh, maybe drink a bit of water before you do it, because then when people drink a bit of what, other, drink a bit of water, drink a bit of what, drink a bit of water. No, <laughs> drink a bit of water, so you got time to think about your decisions. We've and got then, international uh, go, people go here. Missing. You have to speak properly. Go, go, international go. people don't know what you're saying. Drink a bit of water. Oh, right. They know what you're saying. In, drink a bit of water. International people. Yeah. Uh, let me think. Let me think. No, um, you just have to don't speak go properly. Into any, don't Drink. carry AR-15s around with you. It's bad. Especially, don't go taking them to uh, schools. Buddy. Yeah. Buddy, I'm an American. I'm going to carry yeah. guns everywhere I go. <laughs> I mean, what a Pronou part of pr pronounce, from? pronounce water. 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 Yeah. Water. Yeah. Water. 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 A little bit of water, do you know what I mean? Water. Yeah. Water. 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 Well, <laughs> it's like what time, anyway. my friend. Go eat up. <laughs> Almost. Anyway, that was I'll bid, I'll bid you guys a good evening. And a final note would be, yeah. in about 10 years' time, we'll be able to have the same reconstructive surgery that women are getting, so everyone can be a 10, and then we can all go around and do what we want. I long for that day. Oh, it'll come for you, mate. Don't worry Hope about it. Hope some prayers. Hope. Okay. Thank you for your call. Remember, don't yeah. piss in someone's pocket. Tell them it's right. You've got to have the looks, <laughs> boy. Take care, boys. Thank have a good you. Evening. Thank you. Bye bye now. Bye bye now. Uh, where is he on? Was that on Discord? I have no idea. But that was that was great. That was a good call. This stream is going to be long. Like I really, by now, I thought I'd be in bed fapping to, um, you know, the f the front page of X videos. It's frail, pale, stale male. Hello. This show's going like for ten hours now. Hello, frail. There we go. I can't hear you too well. Okay. There we go. I've got you. I can hear you. Hey. <laughs> Face, we like long no, shows. Again. Oh. Um, okay, are you there? If you're not there, then we can come back to you, hopefully. You can. You keep cutting out, man. You keep cutting out, so I can hear you. But... Well, okay. Um, can... uh, that's loud. All right. Hello? Hello. Right. Um, can you, if you can't hear me, I'll come back yeah. to you. Oh my goodness me. So, sorry, if you can, if, can you hear me? Fucking hell, man. Can you hear me? I guess that's a no. Yes. You can hear yes. me. Okay, what's your point? I can believe you. Welcome, welcome to the yeah. show. Oh my days. Um, there we go. Fuck me. Yeah. Hi, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Just keep so, speaking. Is it keep all going. good now? The stream is bananas. Um, I was gonna go off two. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna go off two points there. I'm, I'm gonna to start go shooting fuck people fuck if they fuck keep fuck calling. Fuck. Sorry, I'm gonna start shooting people if they really keep fucking calling. Fucking My, don't call me. Oh, I don't fucking. No, 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 not you. I'm speaking to the um, you um, Skype people. Don't call me. Say call yeah, in a message gay. to me. And I will come to you if I can. Don't call me. That's not going to work. That's not how we do this. 
uh, back to you, frail, pale, Locking snail mail. With call. Exactly. Go ahead. What is this stream? Right, Giraffe um, man, you walked into a mild... I was... Oh, fucking... Yeah. Points. Um, on Shattered Snake, because that guy's funny. Fuck me, I'm drunk. We're going to have to backtrack a bit here. Um, you know what? I'll go, I'll go to the closest one. You know how um, Snake was on about um, ugly women having more attitude? Yeah, yeah. Documented. That's literally... Or anecdotal, um, yeah. Brilliant. It is brilliant because, like you say, um, they'll take it as an insult if if you went up to yes. Because what you're if you're effectively saying that it's, it's, you're it's reminding just... her that she yeah this stream is bananas. You're effectively effectively reminding her that she's somewhat near to what? your looks level. So obviously she takes it as an offense. If a Chad approaches her, it um in her mind makes her feel that she's worthy, she's attractive, she's, you know, um, high high value. But if you, well, one no, point below her... There's some irony here, Face. Yeah, there's some ahead. irony. Um, and the irony is because people are always like, oh, just low East standards go for someone in your league. Well, if you fucking try that, you're going to get the most brutal rejection you've ever fucking faced in your cunting life. Correct. And my second point. Mm -hmm. Now we're backtracking. Um, you know how you brought up that fucking cunty fucking comic about that fucking guy that the guy that roped and this woman was on about. Oh yeah, but I've got to go and see my boyfriend in a, a date, depression, all that kind of shit. Oh yeah, that's a meme, but it probably does happen in real life. Yeah. Yeah. But but let, let's let's um let's backtrack to fem cells that you were talking about way way earlier in the stream. Mm -hmm. If you look at a lot of their posts, some of them include the exact phrase, my boyfriend. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Not surprised. Like a lot, a lot like, of themselves are. What the fuck are, is yeah. wrong with you, you fucking deluded, fucking unaware, stupid. Like I said, comments. women's developmental um, progression is stalls out at like 13, 14, 15. They're. And women have a. That's fucking brutal. They have a. I'm just a cigarette. Okay. They have a um, victim mentality, and the, the thing is, I don't mind women having a victim mentality, but it should be, um, in some sort of coherence to what's actually happening in their lives. So. A woman having a victim mentality when they're not victims at all, I have a problem with that. If they were actually victims of something, I wouldn't be I wouldn't have a problem. But women women are like they they default to it. They're like, Well, I do date this guy. Um I am choosing this guy over guys who say they would treat me better. I'm choosing this good-looking guy who treats me badly. I'm a victim, and that's just women's. That that's just women's. You can't change women. You cannot change women. You cannot bring them up to a level of self-awareness. Biology. You can't. Fucking. You can't. Society. It's all these fucking bullshit norms that go you, around. You can't, can't change it. You cannot you, fucking change it. You can't bring women up to a level of self-awareness that men have. You will never enforce um, equality in that respect. It's not going to happen. Women run on emotions, so it's not going to happen. Women will always pick the good-looking um, Chad who treats them like shit over the less good looking guy who it's is always, more um it's, it's just complete, more attentive to their needs divide. It's, a, it's a fucking divide it should yeah. it should be fixed but it won't it won't ever get fixed no do you have a final point it's fucking won. a point a final point no yeah. no it was just those two points cool all right then if, um, if i think of another one then i'll call you up again so, yes yeah all right Thank you. That was frail, oh, pale, um, stale mail. Good yeah. to talk to you again. Um, All right. Thanks I'll for calling. A bit. See you soon. See you.
Bye. Bye. Right. Um, let's. Uh, I'm gonna move on with this video. This. Hey, um, Abe and Dante, how are you doing for time? Like, do you need to be gone in like an hour or so? Are you dead already? Who's this guy? No. What the hell? People, did, people just didn't get the memo. Uh, um, Dante's dead and Abe is dead. Abe is dead. Oh, I am not taking that guy. Renell, are you kidding? Not for not for now. Um Abe and Dante, you're you're gone, right? Okay, they're gone. It's just me. Alright, anyway. Alright then, since you're since you're dead, um let's let's take this caller on Skype. This one's been persistent. All right, I'll, I'll cancel him and... Oh. This is insane. Right, so let's take this guy. Um, Let's take... Oh, I'm out of the call. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Overall, that makes sense. They're going to be. You know, hey, I'm back. Oh. I was out of the call. That I was speaking to you guys. And I was like, "Where's Dante? Where's um Abe?" And I was yeah. somehow okay. So displaced. When, when did you drop in in the middle of the conversation? There uh, just so about we, a second ago. I was ago. talking to Abe. Just a second okay. ago. Hello? Let so. me get um uh who's all right. Still so, live. Or? We're still live. This this is one so, of those streams that just I keeps can't, going. I can't even see your screen. Right you can't see my screen. All right, let me let we me. We can't see let, your screen. Yeah, we let me ready. To, let me remedy uh, this. Uh, Hold up a sec. Uh, start sharing. Oh shit! Wrong screen. Hold up. Stop sharing. Luckily, like imagine song. imagine if I had some illegal shit on the wrong screen. Like that would. I'd be um. In handcuffs right now okay so um yep yeah all right so you can see you can see the um the youtube stream basically yeah yes yeah yeah absolutely all right um let's take oh my goodness so many callers and i started taking them like two hours into the show what is wrong with me um let me take Oh, so many callers. Let me take this guy. All right, let me add Poacher. Let me try and add him very quickly. Oh. It feels like I need to do streams every week. There's so much to, to discuss. On Skype... It's Poacher. Hello. You're on Looks Hello, Live. Man. You're on Looks Live. Oh, yo, what's up? Yeah. I, I, I was just, um, because you, you mentioned Arab Insel, right? And I have a very, very similar anecdote to what happened to him. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, so, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, I was also friends with Richard Dam. So, like, uh, an Arabic uh, chat, like, Chad. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Arabic Chad, Arabic yeah. good looking guy. Right. Yeah, yeah. And um, I also, back in my PUA Red Pill days, I was also like um, DMing this, this like Stacey Light um, that, that I thought I had a chance with, right? And I, I spoke to this Void for like. You're crazy. Like, this Void for basically two months. Yeah. Hello? Hello. Yeah. Can, can you hear? Yeah, yeah. Why did okay, you think so you had? Why void. did you think you had a chance with Stacy, or were you like blue pilled in it those was days? Back in my uh, blue pilled, blue pilled okay, days, because yeah, I was binging on these PUA vids, and I thought it was all about you know the three point two five six seconds of eye contact. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So I thought. So I thought. I, was, I basically all put to this for two months, right? And uh, you know, like progressively as the days went by, 
the the reply time increased exponentially, right? Your what? So Sorry, I missed that. So your what? Ex- your, your what? The, ex- the reply time. Oh, right. It increased. Okay. Increases and she replied yeah, quicker. Yeah. So like in, yeah, no, no, no. So like, so like, um, I would send it, you know, then the reply would come in a day. Send it, send the next one. She, the food would reply like two days later. Then oh, you mean decrease time period extended. Decreased. decreased. So yeah, so yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah so the reply time, yeah, yeah. So it got to the point where it was like you know one week between replies. Oh my! And... You know, at that point, like, yeah. why are yeah. you so at even that, so bothering certain, at that point? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So after a certain point, uh, I just ghosted. Like I just ended it, right? Because the void basically just rejected me, right? So then four months later, this Chadam. Uh, messaging me saying like oh bro you know this is um proper banging void um you know i've got, I've got a date with this void and stuff like that right mm. and then it's the same void the same uh... safety lights and i was like how long how long have you talking to this void for yeah how what so i said uh you know how long have you been hello yeah i can hear you i, I asked like Oh, fuck. Have you taken uh, the so agriculture like, pill? How long have you been talking to this? Hold up. Can you Hold react up. to a post on blaming genetics so is making surgical correction less accessible? Yeah, I miss that. Um, is is um, blaming genetics making things more su- accessible? You know what? I, f- I feel like I should reply to you in a when i've organized my thoughts so i'll come back to that because i don't feel like it should i should just say something off the top of my head just to reply to you especially when i when i didn't hear what you said concretely so um i'll come back to that and if i don't like come back to me and uh, make sure i do uh, make sure i do respond to you anyway poacher back to you so this this oh, this, okay. this um chad like yeah, go ahead. Right, right. So the Chadam, uh, he mm. got he got with this he got a date with the same Stacy that I had been basically orbiting and then got ghosted by a few months earlier, right? And I asked, how long have you been? When did you meet this void? How long have you been speaking? And he said three days. So the same thing that took me, you know, two months to not even get to this chat, three Whoa. days to achieve, right? And then, um, yeah, the void. Now, suddenly, a day later, uh, the Chadam says, Oh, this void wants to be exclusive with me, and this and that and the other. And oh. uh, over there, yeah, and then over their relationship, I got a lot of black pills because this guy was feeding me a lot of information about this void, right? Um, he says the void has had more lays than him at 18, <gasps> right? So. Wow. More lays than the dam at 18, right? And this was a very conservative sounding. I think someone's, you know, posted unit. a. Hold up. Naila Broughton, 20. I'm just waiting for the comment. No comment. Okay. She had more lays than him at 18. Right. Right, right. Oh, bang goes right. the idea so, of a. The idea of a, you know, traditional. So it kind of gets worse yeah. as well. It kind of gets worse. So this Chad, this Chadam had been getting a lay minimum every two weeks for the past two years and so just imagine this void is 18 years old and has more lays than this chadam that has been wow. getting lays like regularly um so so well, okay um uh, so, I, don't know, I don't know if you want to go into this but um was she a traditional woman was she ethnic was do you think she'll end up with a beta provider at some point like was she well, was she was she South she, Asian right. or something so, or Muslim or anything? No, this void was like a mixture, um, Caucasian, but it was like Polish or something. Okay, so she's gonna right. end up with a Polish then, uh, boyfriend yeah. who thinks right. that, who expects her to love him and be devoted to him. Meanwhile, she's had hundreds of lays. Right, fifty plus for sure. At eighteen, at eighteen, right. So, 
it really is over. Like it really is over. Yeah. The meme. It's a meme. It's a meme. It, it, but is. it really is over. Yeah. Listen to this. Listen to this. Um, the Floyd went to an all girls school. Oh, now you're just now you're an joking. All girls high school. You're joking. So she she was. Bro, it gets she... worse. It gets worse. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I can handle this. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay. It gets. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was pretty rope pulling for me. Like, that was, uh, <laughs> yeah. like last last December last December last year man, it was yeah. just next level. Uh, anyways, sorry. so the the way I found all this out right was because me and that your dam went to this event right, and the events began at what, maybe four p.m. Okay, and then he he, he told me right like uh, I was like, what were you doing in the morning? He said, um, oh, today was a crazy day. Last night at two a.m., I had a Floyd come to come around. Wait, then were you in the with morning, him? Were you with him at the time, or were you? Where are you? Or was so this, this is an event. This is an event that's happening at four p.m. Oh, and so, he's basically give, telling me what he's been doing. Um, okay, the nights before. Okay, the morning before. before right? So you you didn't you weren't in his vicinity at that time last night. Yeah, you were no, no, else. but okay. he showed me like messages and stuff. To okay, okay. Proof, I guess. Wow. Right. Wow. Wow. So, 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 it, it, so, hit, hit me out, right? So, yeah. he, so, two a.m. on that the night before, he had a forward come round. Oh. Then the morning, he wakes up, has another forward come round, and then in the evening, <laughs> he had a date with this Stacy Light that I'd been orbiting. Imagine. Beyond Bro. over, beyond over. Complete, like I was just, my head was swirling. This is the time I probably got blacked with, basically. Like, it this, was insane. Yeah. There's nothing you can do. Like, but anyways, this, this... um, yeah, I had another approach story as well. If you're willing to, hear. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, quickly. Yeah, yeah. So, um, oh, sorry, yeah. So, so this is the same same time, P way time, right? Okay. And uh, I approached this this Floyd who's like a Becky in looks. Then Floyd's okay. name was Becky too. It was like a cold <laughs> approach. And, explain this. Yeah, explain yeah. Becky for people who don't know what Becky means. Uh, so Becky is like a six out six out of ten, maybe five to six out of ten, uh, ten woman in looks. Um, you know, and like very not not the best looking woman, but like probably average looking, right? Yeah. And uh, that, that's what the name's Becky. So, so I approach, you know, um, the Floyd is kind of basically, from looking back, the Floyd is virtue signaling, uh, you know, laughing and stuff. Then from, from P way, I, I'd seen this, uh, this technique of like uh, uh, escalating your touches, right? So you touch oh, yeah. like Kino, Kino escalation. first and then escalate, Ki- right? Kino escalation, they call it. Right. Kino, right. Kino, Kino is touch. So, so Kino escalation is... Increasing your touch right. is the 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 theory of if you're if you touch someone, they become more comf- comfortable with with you. So, if I touch you, not you, if I touch a woman on the shoulder once, um, and then I touch her on the elbow, then I t- put my arm around her. I'm building up attraction. I'm building building up comfort to the point where when I go for a kiss, it's not going to be out of the blue. Because I've been touching her all night, I've been building up to it, so that's where that comes from. This is where I say that um, P way right. isn't fully a hundred percent bullshit, but they they think that all men can do that kind of thing. They think that looks don't come into play. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, go ahead. All right. So, so I was I was one of the ones that couldn't do that because as soon as I touched this forward, it was like you know all. Virtue signaling curtains are down, you know, it's completely <laughs> truthful reaction, just like horror on her face. What, like, what, what did, did, did she flinch? Night and did day she flinch? Difference. Did she flinch? Well, yeah, yeah, she like moved back a bit, you know, moved a bit away. And listen to this, yeah, the Void's six foot five boyfriend then comes in, um, walks, walks in. He apparently he'd been watching the entire thing. Like twenty meters oh, wow. away. Oh wow! Wow! Yeah. Wow! So there was a height element there as well. 
Wow. And it was the hype pill. Do you know why? Why? Because um, the, four, the the guy, right, the boyfriend, he was six foot five, but complete, and I mean complete soy boy fino. Like, he's got a neck beard, he's ginger, got glasses, like, complete soy boy fino, but he's white and tall, and tall and white theory, yeah. pretty legit, so. Um, that, that goes back to, right that goes back to, um, I don't want to re- reveal his name, I, I can't remember the name he used, but the, the um, guy from the Midwest, I think it was, who, um, he said he was six foot six and can't get a girlfriend. So, yeah, that speaks to that. That speaks to that where if you're actually NT and six foot five, six foot six, you should be able to get something on free kite game. Like it should there right, right. should be something you can get from that. Just being able to be and that, dominant yeah. over the the pop basically over your city. You're like. If you're six foot five, six foot six, you're the tallest man in your city, bar one or two guys. That has to count for something. And, and his issue wasn't even that he was approaching and getting rejected. He just wasn't approaching. He was like, I don't know how to. Approach. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For real. Is um is um Dante and a- Abe still there? Are they still there? Yeah, I'm here. Absolutely. Okay, well, you guys are quiet. Are you Are you watching this stream? Well, of course I am. It's okay. just that yeah. there's not a whole lot that I have to add to this conversation. Okay, you know, so you I want agree. to let the guests you know, have their turn to speak. Okay, thank you. That's very Maybe considerate. Maybe Blackfields to oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> they right. just, they're just there with their mouths open. Yeah. Soaking up the black okay. pills, yeah. Anyway, Poacher, thanks for your input. Oh, cheers! Yeah. Thank you. Take See a good look for the rest of the stream. See you. See ya. Bye. Wow, I I did not plan for this stream to Some, take so uh, long. What did you s- go ahead? Oh, uh, I just said those are some stories. <laughs> it's it's insane. Yeah. Um, you, so yeah. many men. Very. So many men have so many stories to tell, but you won't hear them anywhere else. But on my channel, yeah. on Incel TV's channel, on VAV, VVS, uh, Black Pill Jesus, like, like only on Incel Aware channels will you find anecdotes or stories or evidence of what's actually happening here. Um, this guy has been persistent so let me get him on um no they they, they don't get it if you call you're not coming on you have to wait your turn um let me get this guy on Uh, i'm deleting you too sorry i know that guy um let me add oh this stream is oh Guys, tell me when you have like thirty minutes to um go, and then I'll I'll speed ahead. But um, let me get this guy on. Who is? I know that's that cannot be a real name, J K. So I don't mind reading out your initials. In a few hours, I will have been awake. 24 hours, by the way. Hooray for me. Hello. Hello. Who's that? Hello. Who's that? Not sleepy. This this is Joker. Okay, Joker. What um do you have to add to the conversation? Yeah. Welcome to the show, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I just wanted some what Oh, yeah, thanks. Uh, I just had one thing I wanted to rebuttal with one of your statements that you made. The video okay. you're showing with the handicapped girl. Yeah. And the good-looking guy. There's a YouTube channel where there's a handicapped guy with a good-looking average. I know. I, I I know the exact that, video. I know the exact video you're going to talk about. The yeah, um, grubs yeah. and squirmy. That that. I don't. Channel, I don't know his name, but the, like, put it this way: from from the the very 
mere fact that I know the video you're going to name, doesn't that speak to it being so rare? I know the video you're going to talk it about. Is. Yeah, but there's other exceptions also, like, in real life. I see I, I see some handicapped guys. Okay, all right. So, okay, so, person. okay, so you see but, exceptions. you know, maybe that's anecdotal. You know, yeah. no, I don't no, know no, 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 no. I'm not. Common. I'm not denying that you see exceptions. I'm. I fully admit that there are exceptions. Um, there are exceptions to every rule, but then you have to think there is a rule. Right? There is a general yeah, trend. You're right. Right. I I agree with you that women are more valued than men, like sexually. Like men value sex more, so. Yeah. than women that's why there's like a shit ton of men for like here is the here, here is the olive branch i will extend to women all right the, here is the absolute cock soyest i can get this is the olive branch i will extend to women um men place more value on looks women place more value on everything so men will say um she's attractive to me therefore i would date her i mean men would say i'm physically attracted to her i'm physically attracted to her therefore i would date her whereas a woman would say i'm attracted to his face but also what helped in my attraction to him was that he drives a car that he has his own apartment yeah. that he ha he has a high paying job that he has friends, that he has status. So I would say that men's attraction to women is mostly looks. Women's attraction to men is comprised. It's outside of it's, it, 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 I would say it it's, could be it's compri no, it's comprised of mostly looks, but there's also these um, peripheral, factors. peripheral um, factors. But having said I, that, having said I that, I would say. Wait before before you jump in. Before I would you, say before, that. Oh, wait. Wait, okay. um, Dante, before you jump in, I would say, having said that, men find women attractive starting from a lower... Phys sorry, sorry. Men find women physically attractive starting from a lower threshold. So men find women attractive mm -hmm. starting from like a three, a two. So Yeah, completely agree yeah. with that one. So, so it kind of... The, the imbalance that I just mentioned cancels itself out. In fact, it even goes in further in women's favor, if you get what I'm saying. All right, um, back to you, yeah, Dante. Well, Dante wanted to say something. Yeah. Yeah, I was just going to say that I would generally agree with you absolutely. Um, I would say that men care about um, looks and then youth and then chastity, and roughly in that order. And yeah. I would say that women you know, care about looks, money, and status. Yeah. But I would say yeah, overall, women care much more about basically all the factors they care about much more than men do. Yeah, yeah. Because for men... Um, yeah, it's not it's really women, complicated yeah. to yeah, figure yeah, out. Yeah. Women want to be protected and provided for. That's really yeah. what most their attraction is based on. Yeah. Guys just want to yeah. have, you know, kids. That's really it. Yeah. That's what their attraction, on a subconscious level, you know. Legit. And uh, also... Another thing that I would disagree with you on, another, a big, like... Did you disagree with me? Because that... I didn't actually feel like you did. <laughs> it just didn't feel like it. No, no, no. No, no. I didn't disagree with you, like, that much on that one. Yeah, that one I think we kind of agreed on. I should yeah. I should rephrase that. But Agreed. yeah, uh, but there's something else, but there's something that you said that I, I didn't agree. Uh, not that I don't agree, but I feel like you guys keep uh, the incel community, like, you guys kind of... What is it? You project what you want onto women. Well, like you project, yeah, what you want from women and you expect women to want you like that. For example, like yeah. women love differently than men do. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they don't like we like women for sex and things like that. Women like us for things outside of sex. So you can never expect a woman to love. No, you no, no, no. Wait, exactly wait, I'm like going to have to give you some pushback there. Thing, you know? I'm going to have to give you some pushback there. I don't love. I That's don't love one women. Of the things we hear about. I don't love women just whatnot. for sex because if that if that were the case, I would just get a prostitute. So yeah, I don't, but I even don't like in that case, just for sex. even outside of sex, women can never love you for 
they'll never love you the way you love them. Like whatever oh, you yeah, get yeah, out yeah, of, yeah, let's yeah. say you're in a relationship with a woman, whatever you love them for, they're not, not going to love you the same way that, you know, that they love you for. You know what I'm saying? Like no you probably love her for the looks and things like that, etc. She probably loves you because you, you know, give her money or whatever. Yeah, or you provide for you her. Could, you look like she, a, you're a yeah, comfortable provide for, provider. And yeah, you know, yeah, she yeah, likes yeah. you for what you can do for her, basically. Yeah, yeah. That's what women like men for. They don't really love us for who we are. They just love us for what we can do for them. That's yeah. really what it boils down to. So they, they really can't love you the same way we love them. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's it's really it's really a shit show. So it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a combination of what you look like. Plus what you look like on her arm to her friends. Because like having you on her arm when you're good looking is a show of status, is a show of um, her value to her friends. Exactly. So she, that's exactly. important. Um, you need to look good on her arm to her friends. You need to be able to prov provide for her because she doesn't want to date a man and then her financial situation is worse. She wants it to be improved. So there are all these things that she wants. She wants to date up in so many ways that, yeah, well, um, it's not well, just yeah, is, not just face. The thing is, face is that, you know, women's financial situations is in modern times, they're able to work for themselves. And also, if they don't want to work on themselves, they're able to, be, to go on to welfare and become yep. single mothers. So finances yeah. has become, you know, increasingly unimportant over the course of, you know, the past few decades. And it's all about all looks. The, the, only factor, the only factor that's left in that regard is looks. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I cleared that up. Yeah, okay. Because I thought you want, you, you expected them to love you the same way like you did, but no. No, no, no. And also, no, another I... thing, the... Uh, talked about the waifu stuff okay like if you look did you hear recently about the project uh the i forgot what it's called the waifu on chatterbait and all the no. thoughts were bitching about you know the waifu was like making more money than them on chatterbait and whatnot i mean that kind of proves <laughs> how that's great kind of, that is like, good the waifu that sex girl shit you know it's kind of becoming a thing you know like i'm and the so thoughts they're glad. getting kind of pissed off that the dolls are and the waifus and sex dolls are you know getting more money than them Hallelujah. no that's good that is good i'm i've heard of um recently um uh what's it called real sex dolls real dolls whatever yeah. they're called um the there were yeah doll yeah prostitute you know, bars um, exactly. um prostitute um uh, houses opened brothels opened for um fucking sex dolls sex robots whatever and feminists no in fact sorry i skipped a part a vital part men sought out these sex dolls more than they sought out these women so the women complained to get these sex dolls, sh these brothels shut down because um, it was denting their their um, their bottom line. Their value. Yes. Yeah, because, you know, they, they get they want that male attention and they the dolls were taking that away. It really shows not you just what not just attention, value but is. dollars. What? Not just attention, okay. but dollars They're out there a little bit. Oh Never yeah, that too. Yeah, so but it really shows you like women aren't worth much. That's all they're fucking. They're not even worth. That is their they're... fucking worth to us is similar I, I, to that I, of a sex doll. You know, like they're not I, shit. I'm so, <laughs> sorry like, for cursing. I really, I don't know if I can... No, no, no. It's cool. Yeah, you can curse. Like I'm really sorry to say it, but um, women's main value is their sexuality, and if if women if any yeah. woman disagrees with me cover up go to the gym in <laughs> full full um i don't know uh, yeah uh, hijab. full hijab yeah. full full um clothing don't wear tight fitting clothing even then you it's not really effective because men have a high sex drive and men are attracted to women wearing anything but 
the fact look at you just have to look at women's fashion the yoga pants the low cropped tops the 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 boobs showing everything yeah, about even, their fashion everything about their fashion point. everything about their fashion is to show off their bodies to show off their sexuality yeah and you even brought up another good point in that like even transgender men yeah oh or yes, it's yes, just yes, trans yes, yes. women they're they're getting just as much of attention as real women like what the I, fuck like i saw yeah a, i saw a transgender i can't remember i don't know it's their name but um it's google it i am transgender uh, look at look for it on youtube it's a swedish i think nordic dude um he is he went through through the transition early so there is no he you there, you would not guess he was a guy and um jeez <clears throat> you know what i'm not even opposed to transgenders because anyone who's opposed to transgenders i think they want this world to pull through and i kind of want this world to go to shit so um i kind of i kind of <laughs> want to, seriously i hate this planet nothing would make me happier yeah, than for i don't blame you i get yeah, it is it, i don't think we're at the point where um we can just put yeah, we're, we're feminism in back in the bag at this point no, exactly we can't put feminism back in the bag we can't just say oh, okay women um tinder's over well back to being well, hold wives on, again hold it's not gonna happen there is a proposition there is a proposition and i'm one of those megtals that agree with tfm okay. taking women's rights away but i don't the think right most men out there wouldn't get together and do that or form a community where you limit women's rights but that's a whole nother stream not yet nother. not yet give it a couple yeah. of generations no a couple of genera- right. <laughs> that is migtal coke as as mighty as mighty wolf migtal coke is sex doll and no, but like the, the, that the, building a whole community that's something else you know i i i am fully behind migtow like i watch migtow videos almost every day i would love nothing would make me happier than for a collapse to occur but that is not happening it's just not happening yeah it's i don't a, it's a I don't, revenge I don't, fantasy it's a revenge fantasy. Yeah. MGTOW I don't, I don't know. MGTOW. When sorry. will it happen? I think maybe in like 20, 30 years, maybe. I don't know. MIG, MGTOW. Yeah, I think it's MGTOW have an inflated going to be sense. almost inevitable. But no, the whole I collapse think. thing, that's not a MGTOW thing. That's just TFM's thing that's specific yeah, yeah. to TFM. Many MGTOWs don't really think that, though. It's but not going to happen. That's just one of TFM's talking. Uh, all right. Yeah. TFM. I guess guys who follow TFM think that. Oh, I'm not dating women, therefore society is going to collapse. No, you're the very men who women don't want to date. So you're just you're just taking yourself I out of the I race. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Majority of MGTOWs are. If, have you heard the streams? Is guys who are actually who have girlfriends who had past girlfriends like me. It's I'm about not fifty fifty. It's couple, about fifty fifty. Yeah. There are a lot of MGTOW and copers. Yeah, and a lot there of are a lot of MGTOW copers who think men, that um, I'm going my own way. I don't need no woman, and then no women are trying to fuck them. But obviously, you do have your divorce MGTOW. You do have your yeah. Um, there's there's guys like your, that. You know, yeah, you Barbarossa. You have Barbarossa kind of guys. You have your Barbarossa type MGTOW who fuck women and are yeah. MGTOW, but for. The, then you have your thinking ape, MGTOW, who he's five foot eight, he's bald, he's gym cell and a failed gym cell, and he's a <laughs> he's a circumcision cell because he had a botched circumcision. Like no women, yes. women ain't trying to fuck him. No offense. Fair women, <laughs> no, I like it. I, I love his videos, but women ain't beating a uh. beating a path to his door. Please, are you kidding? <laughs> like, women aren't trying to fuck him. And he actually did mention it, too. He did mention his looks and how... He sounds very sad, too, also. No, okay, he has I'll a Chad voice. He has a Chad voice. He's like, thinking ape here. Um, I live in Germany. Yeah, but like, he, he sounds very doom and doom, like, very sad and shit, you know? Yeah. 
But he does bring up a lot of good points. I like his videos too. I love his videos. I love his videos. Anyway, thanks for calling. Yeah, yeah anyway. this was a good chat. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. That was Joe Kerr. Yeah. I need to go pee again. What yeah, is I just going wanted on? To, I just wanted to comment real quick. Um, okay. The I do think that there will be a collapse of society coming because of the positive Coop. feedback loop caused by intrasexual selection and intersexual selection. Just as we have ob ob observed in other species, remember like the video you showed um, before of that highly aggressive male? The fact of the matter is if those are the males who are getting all the populations, then all those are the males who are going to be you know, fathering all the children. Eventually, no, all the Chad not... Juniors who are no. highly aggressive are not going to stand for being incel. No, it's not. It's not as black and white as that. Um, Chad may fuck a lot of women, but there are still going to be... What is that? Discuss no. how Western government support allows this female behavior. Well, basically, to sum it up in a nutshell, um, women's empowerment means they don't have to depend on a man, which means that the one yes. thing that was linking women to men... The one thing that was keeping women, I guess, subordinate to men was um, their yes. reliance upon men for status, for financial security. Yes. And now that women don't have that, they don't need to rely on that. They can just go for yeah. the type of men that they their heart, their heart desires. So obviously it's looks. Obviously, if a woman doesn't need to, Absolutely. you know, go for a man who has who is a good provider who works hard who's a good family man yes. who if they don't have to think of that anymore because they don't have to be dependent on a well-natured guy like that anymore then they're gonna go for looks hello i absolutely agree with that mm. but uh, the fact of the matter is that intrasexual competition is going to come into play between the you know the top good looking guys they're going to be antagonizing one another for access to females. And the fact of the matter is that the most aggressive males will get the best access. I think that the chads will be fucking like they, they, I don't think there will be that much aggression between them. I think that they'll be fucking the top. They'll be fucking the top 80% of women. And then us incels will be squabbling over the bottom 20% of women. Who won't fuck us anyway? I absolutely agree. <laughs> they, well, um, I absolutely they, agree. We got a but caller, right? just from what have I, I've observed in biology and the overall trends we observe in, you know, interspecific aggression, or, or I should say, intraspecific aggression, I would say that the general trend is um, favoring high aggression, you know, dark triad behavior, and that eventually that's going to, you know, it's going to become incompatible with modern society. All right, I need to um, go for a pee break, but we um, when I come back, we have... Uh, uh, who is this guy? Um, who are you on um, Discord? Hello. Uh, well, you can read my name, right? Well, I, I'm not going to say your name. You can say it for yourself. Uh, well, you can refer to me as uh, Dave, I suppose. Dave? Okay, yeah. Dave, I'm going to go for a 30-second P, and then... Um, you... I'm going also. No yeah. Um, when I come back, you're the next call, okay? Right. All right, you can speak. You say, shout out your friends, shout out your family, shout, you know, say hello to your... Whatever. Are you crazy? Shout out my family as an insult? Um, your friends then you could say, Hey, um, kill yourself. Nah. Okay. Anyway, I, it was just a suggestion. I'll be back in 30 seconds. Okay. Right. No problem. All right. See you soon. It looks live and I will be back. What's up guys? Hello stream. Uh, I'm calling in from uh Eastern Europe. So. Want to give everybody a bit of intel how it is over here, a bit of insight. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna wait for a face and all to come back so we can talk. About it. 
I'm sick, so I apologize for my constant sniffing. It's not a um, coronavirus, is it? <laughs> no. I hope, well, actually, I hope it is. To be completely frank. <laughs> And we said in chat, are you from Poland? From from Poland? No, I am from the Balkans. Uh, I don't want to say exactly what country it is, but it's uh, uh, one of the six former countries of Yugoslavia. So yeah, if you know what countries those are, that's that's the country I'm from. <laughs> Albania isn't a part of Yugoslavia, you dumbass. <laughs> Croatia close. Where are you from? Where uh, are you from? I'm, I don't want to dox myself. Okay, I don't okay. want to specify exactly what country it is, but I'll say it's Europe. Uh, one of the six, Eastern. Uh, countries from former Yugoslavia. Okay. Okay, so um, what is your experience of inceldom, of hy female hypergamy? Is it as bad in the east as it is in the west uh because i hear it's all well, about status I, there so. well usually people usually usually women here tend to be more direct with you they'll kind of straight up say you're ugly i'm not interested Brutal. i have high standards you're just not my type or whatever the fuck they're not going to beat around the bush like they do usually in the west so i guess that's a positive at least yeah. you're transparent yeah uh, uh, but so have you actually had have you actually had women say sorry you're ugly goodbye uh no because i don't approach i don't try okay uh because why, do, why don't pointless. you try oh you know it's pointless okay but uh what what yeah. lets you know it's pointless what let, what's your confirmation i'm black though okay but from like have you had non-verbal rejections is there something you're going off to know that you're, well, you're no you're actually i i well uh first let, let me let me start off by saying that the country i live in is one of the tallest countries in the world so the average height here is about six feet for men and about five feet six inches for women it's like the fifth tallest country in the world if you look there's a, the there's a there's okay, a there's a there's a there's a um, Serbia it's yeah. Serbia there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly like what's that yeah yeah no, n like no one's trying to dox you here or like or doxing Don't you knock. from your your pop the population of your country is like what 10 million oh, 15 seven million, million seven, and a half seven million million so like good luck with that who's trying to dox you it's not gonna yeah uh, but yeah, so and for Zoomers, it's even worse. Uh, for Zoomers, the average height is basically like 6'2 in every classroom. And for that Freud, is crazy. it's like 5'7". That, that, that doesn't make sense. Like, what is it about, like, you've got the... I don't know, got dude, the, I don't know what to like, do. It's crazy. Water, you've got, you've got the, the tall height in the Netherlands um, all the way, all the way <clears> over <throat> in Europe. Then you have to jump over Poland, Poland and Austria and shit, and then you've got this six foot two height in Croatia and Serbia. Like it's crazy. I don't get where these random heights yeah, are Bosnia coming too, from. Where where are they coming from? Is it is it German rape genes? What is it? What is what is going on? <laughs> we didn't get raped by Germans. We got raped raped by the Turks. Oh, the Empire, that you should be shorter then. Years. You should be shorter then, because Turks are like exactly. Yeah. That's that's why I'm so fucking confused. Madness, crazy. Uh, by the way, I want to preface that I am a Zoomer. Actually, I'm 17 years old, but uh, yeah, I hope you're not gonna be, you're not gonna underestimate my uh, sentiments and what. Well, uh, and you're you're 17, so. You're 17, so by 25, you will be laid. 
can learn because you're really you don't know where you're going to end up. Like you think it's over at seventeen, but no, you I have... don't think it's over. No, no. Okay. Let, let me let me let me elucidate myself. So uh, did we I'm lose a guy? Did we lose? Right um, did we lose? Sorry, did we lose? Um, um, uh, Dante. Dante is still there. Is that Dante? No, Dante's still there. Did Dante, we lose Abe? Dante. Dante I think we is lost still Abe. here. Did we lose Abe? We lost him. Um, if... here. Oh, you're here. still here as well. Okay, okay. Um, back to you, um, Eastern European cell. Yeah. What's your name again? Uh, uh, that's not my name. Uh, you can just refer to me as that, because why not? What's your name? What did you say? I missed it. I missed it. Dave. 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 Okay, Dave. Back to you, Dave. Yeah. Right, so, yeah. In all honesty, I say I have a decent frame overall. I'm... I have a good height. I really do. I'm six one, but okay, good. that's a good height. That's a good height for the West, not necessarily here. Oh wow! So in that sense, on location cell. So. so, what is your um, your plan? How do you plan to get a girlfriend there? Here, I'm probably not gonna get get a girlfriend. I'm gonna move to. The United States of America when I turn eighteen or nineteen. Or oh, whatever. you think it'll be easier there? What makes you think no. that? What makes no, you think no, no, that? No, no, no. <laughs> no absolutely, I think it's gonna be easier there. I'm gonna move there because uh, it has better job opportunities, obviously, in the West than here in this fucking shithole. Then while I'm there, I might, you know, get a sure. girlfriend or whatever the fuck. Um, that is you, Dante, because I can't comment really. So. Do you want do you want to let this guy know what he's in for? Yeah, so the hypergamy over here is exponentially worse. All I can say if is if you want to come here and if you think you can make bank over here and then you want to move back to your home country and then use your the money that you've earned to pick up on this women, country, that actually, might be a valid strategy. Yeah, but the funniest part is this isn't actually my home country. I was born in in America, and then my retarded mother decided to move me to Serbia because she believes that the education system is better here. So she moved with me when I was about seven years old. Oh, really? Okay. Well, you're probably yeah. more culturally so aligned know. with um, Serbia than America. so. Yeah, pretty much. And you have the accent as well, so... You're going to have to... That's going to be a hint. It's not like Sir, Eastern European accents are seen as attractive. If Unless you're good looking, then it could work. But, you know, if you're like sub six with an, with an Eastern European accent, you just sound like a foreigner. If you're, if you're, if you're like an eight out of ten, eight out of ten with a, with a Eastern European accent, then you're, you're exotic. Yeah. So you're gonna I'm, have to deal with that. Yeah. By the way, I want to preface as well that my dad uh, was a fucking Giga Chad, and my mother was also a Giga Stacy. So I have no fucking clue how he turned out to be an insult. Um, that goes back to that point that um, insult tears <laughs> woman said that, or uh, if if it's all about. Sub yeah, eight, I know, I know yeah. exactly, I know exactly what yeah. you're talking about. The sub eight males, yeah, yeah. Like how, yeah. how, how can if uh, if women only go for the top twenty percent of males, how are they uh, still sub, sub eight sub, men? Yeah. That is the dumbest sentiment I've hear I've heard in my entire fucking life. Like, but it came on. from a woman, so what can you really expect? That that fucking statement is basically equivalent to. Uh, to people who don't believe in evolution saying uh if we evolved from monkeys how come monkeys aren't turning into humans nowadays <laughs> i don't know think it, i don't think it's even <laughs> yeah. that evolved i think i think it's more i think that that level of thinking is more um on level with um if santa exists and i left cookies out for him how comes how comes there are still cookies left out this morning i think it's even that more basic it you're you're you kind of over inch over into like 
months. I've had too much to drink. I think you've over intellectualized women. I think that women are even more basic than you're you're um alluding to. Women are so stupid <laughs> that um you need a simpler argument to sum up how dumb they are. And this video is getting banned <laughs> after that. I mean, I can't say it. I can say I disagree. Okay. I can't say I disagree. Anyway, like, um, it's all about eugenics at the end of the day, reproducing, uh, going for the best genes, the healthiest children and whatnot. So. Thank God we gave women rights. That was so the right thing to do. That was a genius idea. <laughs> Fucking phenomenal. We 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 really knocked the ball out of the park with that one. We were that was a great move. Great move. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for your call. No problem. Thank you. See ya. Great. See ya. And he is so. Out of here. Can I comment before we move on to the next yeah, caller? Yeah. 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 Yeah, so what I have to say about your East European countries is at least the countries that belong to the Soviet bloc, yeah. um, kind of an interesting anomaly that occurred during World War II is that a massive number of men were killed off trying to fight the Germans during the invasion. And so what and ended so up happening is, raise the is value. you actually ended up with um, reverse hypergamy occurring in which the value of men increased greatly relative yeah. to women in the Soviet Union. Yeah. So as a result of this, I think that a number of modern um, Eastern European cultures still maintain a higher value towards men than they do in Western cultures. High IQ observation. That is possibly... Because I, I, I wonder, there are differences between Eastern Europe and Western Europe, and it's, it can't just be about communism and money. So there is def definitely a cultural yeah. legacy that is um, influencing things. That is that is, okay. That's Europe great. It's been heavily westernized though in the past like decade or so, especially with with uh, smartphones and social media, Instagram, fucking Snapchat, Tinder, and all that shit. Who is that? Are you still here? Who is yeah, that? I'm still here. Okay, um, go away. <laughs> <laughs> You're done here. Wait, do you want me to leave the call or? Um, yeah, not not in a bad so way, but just... um, but yeah, because I'm gonna try and get other callers on, and I'm trying to keep the number of people speaking simultaneously down to like three or four. Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, great. Right, thanks for having me. Call back again next stream, See. okay? All right. Of course. All See right. You. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> This stream is long. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let me move on uh, with. All right. So let me finish this one. I think it was like two or three days ago that we saw this video. Uh, it was here. The stuff that we do just on his income. What are some of your future plans? I didn't slow this down. I think my piece is actually on its last legs. I want to start a YouTube channel. Just make people laugh and Langenwerfen said it and he's like, he said lach as he bears him by the heart's fear and that's really true. You can just laugh and everything's fine. <laughs> also, babies. Lots of babies. <laughs> <laughs> you got that on camera. No. <laughs> How come is she so cute? How come you're so cute? Why are you so cute? <clears throat> Funny, it just all comes back to looks. It's insane. <laughs> no, I <am> like. <laughs> so FMI, more like FML. Um, right. I need to. <laughs> I need to find out how to get this video back playing like t at speed. My PC is like dying on its feet. Let me see if I can sh shut some applications down because my PC wasn't ready for me to be streaming for, you know, two days like I'm doing right now. Um, let me see how badly it's doing. Um, 
Let me see if I can sh shut some things down. That is bad. Um, uh, let me see how bad it's doing. Let me get my um, next piece of content up. So we dealt with the amputee. Oh yeah, let me just add. Um, mm, I would like to get a, bit, a picture up, but um, let's not do that. Let me just add that. Um, you do you guys know what juggernaut law is? Dante Abbey. Abbey. What is not that? Off the top of my head. All right, juggernaut is law is a black pilled. Um, a black pilled acknowledgement that um the lower a woman's sexual market value is the more that men think they have a chance of dating her is so in effect oh of course yeah so in effect so Mass thank you, Steve Laurier. Ugly yeah. women to find someone, basically. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Steve Laurier. So the point is, when the the lower a value of a, the lower the value of a woman, uh, the more men think they have a chance of dating her, which in which effectively raises her value to l literally where the value of other women that you can't um can't attract so it basically raises all women to a certain standard that you can't achieve yeah. because so many men are trying to achieve the yeah. same thing yep. so basically all women are yep. unachievable then so we're, we're, we're grossly fucked yeah. Because all women are getting validation. The height, the attractive women are yeah. getting validation because of the, their looks. The ugly, disadvantaged women are getting attraction and validation because when, men think they have a chance with her. So th there are no attainable women. We're, we're done. Yeah, yeah. you're just boosting ego. So I, I, th I think I made that point. I, I just wanted to make that point clear with that that amputee that um um she could still afford to wait for that chad even if she didn't meet him in hospital she could still wait what? around yeah. and she she would meet a chad eventually and uh, going back to my mm -hmm. point um that that same kind of woman i'm not trying to minimize her suffering her amputations blah 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 but the same kind of that same kind of woman would post on a forum saying oh no one loves me i'm i'm desperate for love but no one will date me she can get a man so easily look look yeah, it's she'd insane. get done piled. look she has a a boyfriend soon to be husband Whereas we are, as far as I know, everyone here is able-bodied. And between us, we don't have, like, maybe a phone number. Between us, we don't even have a girl who would meet us. It's insane. The difference between men's sexual market value and women's sexual market value is a yeah. crying shame. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um... If, I mean, if you're lucky, you're one of us. If you're lucky, you'll end up with a woman who's a single mother, over 200 pounds, or a heroin junkie. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, back to the videos. Uh, uh, Abe, do you want to make a point? I, I, or Abe? Oh, just that I, I meet um, a lot of people who say that, like, oh, women have it hard in dating, to, uh, too, just in a different way than men. It's complete bullshit. <laughs> Such bullshit. Beyond yep. bullshit. Uh, yep. Okay, back to these videos. Let's get this one on. Okay. Back to TikTok. Earlier, I don't know if you remember, a few days ago when I was streaming, this stream started a few days ago. Um, I was saying that uh, TikTok is... Um, 
gives women validation that they couldn't get before TikTok, before the the kind of tick the the kind of validation that women had to wait to uh, wait for their entry into um, Tinder to get. Who's this guy? I have to. I I can't take. It, uh, I don't know where that call is coming from. Uh, we'll take Maxing in a sec. We'll take him in a sec. Um, as I was saying, <laughs> Abe got Jap got Japan Prime Minister on stream, or oh, Abe. Um, I've forgotten what I was gonna say. Um, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, basically, women. Um couldn't get validation really when they were really young because you had to be a certain age to sign up to dating profiles dating websites blah 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 but tiktok enables women to get validation from the earliest age so women are going to be influenced don't think that women could just use tiktok for 10 years and their standards aren't influenced their standards aren't influenced and changed forever. Um, so anyway, back to TikTok. TikTok is Tinder on cocaine. Don't rain on me. I think that's my PC slowing down. Um, I'm going to close that down. Um, but yeah, that is, if you saw that, that is where we're, we are in right now, 2020, that is, a, that's going to be a standard couple. It's loving. Oh, no, no. That's going to be a standard couple. The, the South Asian sub five high body fat woman. After the white, tall, Chad light or high tier normie. That's going to be standard. That is, that's coming. Um, let me close that down and then I'll try and reopen it. See if it, um, that helps. Back to this woman. All right. Uh. RIP me if I open the wrong file. Uh, let me open, open file. I know it's going to open on the wrong window. Oh, well done. Let me open it here. Okay, all right, cool. Um, shall we take a call? Um, let's take a Skype caller because these guys have been waiting for so long. Let's take um, LOL. No, let's take LOL. All right, join call. Oh, you guys got locked off. Are men going to be equal when it comes to things like I miss, suicide? I, I miss, and I miss that. that I'm, I, I, Somehow I got locked out of the call. Um, yeah, you, you disconnected us. And again, we can't see your screen anymore. All right, there you go. Um, let me add there this we are. guy. There we are. Okay. Let me add... Um, oh. What was his name? Lol? Lol. Yeah, yeah. Let me add this guy. I've been awake for like almost 24 hours. I should be in bed. I was going to say something else. I was going to say I should be, but I won't say that. Um, Lol, are you there? So it's calling Lol, it says. It's almost morning. All right, Lol, you there? 
All right, what we'll do is let me get to where I was before. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness. Right. Oh, just it doesn't no, stop. We're, we're still we're still looking at Muslim booty here. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me let me get to this point. Right. Oh my goodness. Okay. okay. All right. Um I have to readjust this shit cuz the video went weird. So, if we go to here, uh apologies for this. Just the way it happened. Right. Continue. <laughs> Tinder on cocaine. Oh yeah, we did this. Don't um, rain on me. Yeah, so that's the standard. That's what women of her looks demand. All right, we're into uh, Tinder now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be... Oh my God. Today's video is going to be about me swiping on Tinder. All right, this this Australian woman is saying today's video is going to be about her swiping on Tinder, okay? So, let's just... Do do any of you guys mog this guy in looks? Are you better nope. looking than him? <laughs> no, <laughs> not even <Nope>. close. <laughs> so he's a straight no. So just imagine what you are. Let me, all right, add this guy. Hello, it's Maxing on Discord. Hello, Maxing. Not that Maxing. Are you, are you, hello? Hello. Final check. Hello, Maxing. Hello. Hello, you're there. You, like you just made it. Hey, Maxing, what's your uh, your view? Well, I actually am the guy that got banned from your Discord by someone in there because I said I had an active sex life, so they didn't like that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. It's not just my me. Discord. Actually... It's not just mine. It's um, me five four poacher. So um, so what? Anyway, so what's your viewpoint, Chad? I'm not a Chad. I'm actually uh, I'm a I'm a beta bucks of sorts. Like um, I kind of just made a bunch of money, and um, I was never really like incel, but I've always been out of shape, so. Okay, so you, you've, you've 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 um you've slayed women, and you haven't even been in peak physique. Well, a lot of it's just like beta boxing. But back when I was in shape, Coke. I used to do like pickup, and I actually I had horrible results in terms of like the percentages. But mm -hmm. I just like approached so much that I eventually like one out of like three hundred times would get a lay. You know. Okay. Um so why are you still involved involved with the black pill when you can well, actually get laid? I mean like I'm not I'm not for like the toxic parts, but I think huh. looks do like pretty much mean everything. Um like I don't I get Stacy's because I have like money, like millions of dollars literally. Stacy's but like how did you get rich by the way? Uh, I did uh, a lot of internet marketing, and uh, I don't want to, like, dox myself, bro. Okay. Like, I don't know. I've been, like, a big fan of your channel. I actually lost a lot of weight because of your videos. Oh, good. Uh, like, like substantial amounts. And uh, I've, like, donated to you a few times. Thank you. Um, I think I think uh, what you were saying about, like, Stacy's being... Uh, <laughs> 
or, or not even Stacy's, just like straight up, just hideous women getting all this attention and it being lucky. I think, I think they there's do. a little bit of cherry they picking do. there going on, man. Cause like, you know, I know a lot of these like Instagram models in real life and like, they're really, they're frauding their fame, bro. Like 90% of them Wait, are not. That, that doesn't, that is not a counter argument to what we're saying. Right. You're saying that well, because, because Stacy's fraud their looks that, um, below average looking women don't get attention is that what you're saying they get Cause... lots of attention it's just not as much as you might think because like oh my even goodness. even like giga stacy's bro like they don't just instantly become famous like very rarely are they truly like admired by more than just a bunch of fucking orbiters um at the end of the day there's a lot of pussy out there too there's yeah, a lot yeah. of girls the, the base pluto said it correct they're getting so much attention. Did you not see? Um, I I know it was a few days ago when I started streaming, and I said that um, I I showed a screenshot of a woman that said, um, uh, I I love being a woman. I just got paid two hundred and thirteen. I think it was dollars for sending a man a text. Are you telling right. me that she she I from, right. Trust like, me. Okay, so, Trust so me. Gonna... Women get paid for having, for looking as if they have a pussy. Not even having a pussy. Looking as if they have a pussy. I've seen transgenders get validation from men. Don't tell me that women aren't having it good. They have it real good, man. Like, dude, I've been black pilled as fuck from Tinder. Like, I'm, dude, I've never gotten, I've gotten like out of, dozens and hundreds of hours on tinder and bumble right like i'm the type of guy that goes on bumble and i swipe through every girl in the city in multiple cities and i don't get anything mm -hmm. you know oh and if i do it's like a spam like it's like a girl trying to get instagram followers or like a, a bot or something and then on tinder i get matches but they're like <laughs> they're like you know like psl1 or like land whales or like are you sure you know, your standards like aren't too high? I just need to check. Are you, are you, are you, would you, what do you rate yourself? I mean, at the moment, I'm still not in shape and uh, I'm ethnic, bro. So, okay. You know. So, um, what are you expecting? Well, um, dude, to measure, like, it with, I haven't to measure it with your own looks. What are you expecting? <laughs> okay. So if I wanted my looks match, like, I would do fine, but I'm like I'm a hypergamous guy. Like I'm okay, freaky. well you you like, said it, yeah. you said it, not me. So you're no, you're, like, you're aiming above your league, and what are you complaining that you can't date up like a woman? Are you complaining? Well, I do are you date up, but uh, the women don't have like genuine desire for me. That's why I'm trying to max looks because that's the only thing that's going to give you that, bro. Okay, so, as long as you're not complaining, you you. Uh, aren't dating below your level so you expect women yeah. to you, ex you expect oh, women no, to no. date below I their mean, level when you're not doing the same well no that's why i'm that's why i need to go do these things i need to do to, to looks max bro like i don't expect more than i'm getting i'm getting what i'm getting because i haven't done everything i can and in some cases like you know if you're born like a one like i 100 percent agree like that's just fucked and you know you're not necessarily ever gonna get things here whatever i okay. mean take the take the like <laughs> take the like uh the hundred million dollar pill though bro if, if mm -hmm. you're like high you and you can uh i'm not saying everyone's gonna be an outlier or anyone's gonna be an outlier but like you for example like i know you're like biochemically depressed and like that's yeah. fucked but you're also like <laughs> you're pretty good with uh with with i think your game is pretty solid in terms of just people to people you know i know like games women don't work care women don't give a shit the well, average the average, like, woman, the average woman <laughs> the average like, the average woman would rather be in a car crash than date me no matter what my game is <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's there's still that like yep. extremely low probability scenario. Like you've had a girlfriend before, you're not like kissless virgin or anything. 
And outside of that, bro, like you have more potential than like you're you're like wage slaving like twelve hours a day or whatever. Like yeah, it, it, with Brutal. your skills, bro, with your potential of like this content, this this way you have with people, like you're funny, like you're obviously high IQ. Like there's more that you can do. And if you pursued like that sort of path, it might free up more time, allow you to do things that would make you less depressed. It's kind of like a like a fucked up cycle because you already are depressed, but. You know, like I just see there's like this potential that you have that you might not see. Um, well, yeah. thank you for that. Um, I don't see it. Uh, Bed, Betty, can you wait? Um, thank you for that. Um, do you have a final point? Because I'm trying to, I'm trying to, what is the time? It's, wow, it is way past. I'm like but two you hours a, you have a over. Date to attend to? Oh yeah, um, yeah. I'm I'm dating Stacy, and um, I need to attend to her needs because you know. No, I understand. <laughs> no, but seriously, I I don't want this stream to be. No one's gonna listen to a seven-hour stream, so I don't want to take it there I mean, again. You'd be surprised, like people. Are <laughs> you'd be surprised. Still. Okay. Anyway, um, um, uh, what was your name, Maxing? Uh, thanks for your call. Yeah, dude. Thanks call for again me, soon, yeah. and call again soon. Like next stream, whatever, whenever. Like call again, okay? Sure. Thank yeah. you. Anyway, um, it's Betty. I hope I'm not doxing you. No, it's chill. Cool. All right. What's your point on Skype? Uh, uh so I was uh, so I basically have a roommate right now. And uh, he was just getting hella hoes on Tinder. So Brutal. I just decided to uh, check it out. Have you ever been on, have you ever made an account here? On Tinder? Yeah. I did a few years ago and I got like two matches in my, ever two matches. Um, one match I had, okay, let me, oh, let me be really quick about this. One match I had was a chub fat, let me be honest, fat, but I call her chubby because my standards are low. Um, I had a chubby slash fat mixed race woman who was s seemed to be attracted to my angle frauded pictures. And um, <laughs> I met her. I met her. Yeah, I met her. We had a good date. We spoke three hours the date lasted three hours. Well, you actually met her. Yeah, you I actually, actually met so her. You actually got a date? date? Yeah. Well, hey, wait. Listen. Wait. To, wait for the rest of it. Um, <laughs> bro, I met her. Chad. I am such a Chad. Hey, bro. No. Um, I met her. We we talked for three hours. She had a child that died. So she was a single. She was a single. Not a single mom, but. A, a former Excellent. mom, I guess you, I guess you can call her a former mom. Um, we met, we talked, we had a. I thought it was a good date. Um, to to close the date, I thought, I thought, just go for it, just kiss her, just kiss her, just see what happens. <laughs> like, P way, bro, P way, bro, spin, spin those plates, spin those, spin those oh, this plates. This is a comedy show. Spin those <laughs> plates, my kneesy. So I spanned those plates and um, I kissed her. And to my surprise, she smiled when I kissed her. She, she was she was like, OK, she accepted it. And then she said, um, the next date we're going on. You're taking me to dinner or something because we had a we had a drinks date. So she said the next date we, we have, you're taking me to dinner. I didn't even process that. That just went over my head. I was just like, she didn't call the police. I just kissed her. Like, I was so surprised that I didn't process what she said. So anyway, I got home. I checked out her. I checked out her Tinder profile and she had updated her profile with a further new picture. I thought, that's weird. If you like me. You should be withdrawing from Tinder, not adding to your profile. So um, I didn't message her. And then um, a day or two went by. I thought, I thought, OK, this is this is going bad. 
and then um i i think i caved in i said um i said how are how are you or something and she said um yeah it was a good day um the date it was a good date um next time we can go out go out as friends oh. so yeah uh, do you have like what you, what would you rate her though she was a in my mind she was about maybe a four maybe a four Jeez. Oh, you're uh, out here fucking good. going on dates, making out with No, stores. that like, was, that this? was, um, that was 2008, 2017, 18, something like that. Oh, uh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, I still think that's, uh, you know what, that's rough. But yeah. it's gotten even worse, like, right now. Imagine, like, 2020. I guess, I guess I got a kiss, so that's, um... Something you to got celebrate. a kiss. Any one of us oh, and the rest of us would have got a sexual assault allegation. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm totally that. serious. How, how often do you think about that that kiss? Um or how, every now and again. You, every now and again. Like really far gone now. No no, I I don't think of it that much, but um I when I when it comes up in my mind it it elicits confusion. I'm thinking all I can assume is that she, maybe she needed all money. I can assume, like she was, she was in a rough financial situation. She, she may she have been bored. Like a, she may have been bored. Maybe but all I can assume. Um, she talked to me about her dead child and that she's still connected to the father because there's an everlasting bond. Um, I think. Um, I think that she got home. And realized, what am I doing? Am I seriously dating <laughs> this far d down? Like, am I dating? <laughs> Comment. Thanks for oh calling. Coming to London for oh. cosmetic surgery in a couple of weeks, bro. We can. Okay. Meet up, no troll. Don't forget maxing on Discord. Ha ha ha. Thanks, bro. I have no idea what your name is, but thanks for that. Um, mess email me, and I'll I'll. Refer to this comment and I'll know who you are. Anyway, um, I think that... I lost my train of thought. I think that um, she got home and realized, what the fuck am I doing? Am I this low value that I need to date a, a sub-5 male? And then she kind of updated her profile, which is what, what I refer to. She updated her... She added a new picture on her um tinder pro tinder was it tinder tinder profile and then she got swiped by a uh, tyrone and then yeah, she, she uh, could, sorry i didn't i didn't make it clear she was mixed race so um yeah yeah black or mixed like mixed black yeah like 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 megan markle kind of looking but oh, fat wow. but fat yeah yeah that's rough man yeah yeah, I just I just uh, hopped on like yesterday and I, I saw there was like all right like it tells you how many have liked you right obviously it's most of it's like a scam to get you to pay. Oh yeah, oh, but it no, tells no, you not 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 most. Completely a scam. It's ridiculous yep. and like the ones that did end up matching. I like I'd rather I'd rather rope than uh, than like show them to my family. <laughs> did you, know you see? I mean? Did you see the um the uh. You know the girl I spoke to, the femme cell, who um, said she liked average-looking black guys? <laughs> yeah. Did you see her gut? Oh, my God. That's disgusting. Like, you could, you could, la you could dive out of a plane <laughs> and just land in her general vicinity, and you will land on, Honestly, her, you'll land on her belly. She was built like Mark Henry. Like, she should be in <laughs> WWE. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! I've I've also got like one of the those women in my back. Like it's uh, and I know like she's you know you know you like know the saddest thing. Let me bring her back up. Let me bring that fat bitch's ass back up. You know the saddest thing. I think it's this All right, one. Let me get my tissues ready. <laughs> you know the saddest thing. I would well, probably <laughs> still fuck it. Like I, 
I'm sorry. I would oh. probably still fuck it. Like, no, you should be a you should be a comedian, honestly. Like you can make a living <laughs> off this. You don't need to rope just yet. But I hate. My, I need to kick my own ass. I would still, like I would. I would, you know, pull those panties to the side, and um. <laughs> but I pictures. I'd go to town. Places. I'd go to town. I guess in her case, uh, go to town doesn't mean much. I'd go to um. I'd go to Empire, because I guess. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> <laughs> what you're dealing with there is 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 well, more has, than... she had, has she had kids she looks like she's had like three four kids no least. she's just a Not... she's just an entitled woman I, do she probably still like gets plenty of she no no trust me trust me she's she not wants. she's not femme cell she she can she can um she can oh get oh my god so many it's men. So over. Yeah, yeah. Fully, fully uh, over. That's that's comedy, bro. This this simulation is just comedy. <laughs> like, it's you know, like, it's it's, it it's even tragic comedy. It's just, like it's, it's, it's comedy, comedy until you. Re- it's comedy until the point where you realize this is your life. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that, that, that's even more comedy, honestly. <laughs> Like that, like you get one life and it's this. yeah, you're yeah, it's comedy, and then you're like, oh, oh, okay, wow. Do you? Uh, I was just curious. Like, do you? Is this like a living? Like, do you make a lot of money off not of your videos and stuff? at all? No, I I work, I work. I'm a low IQ, um, IT cell, stem cell. So um, I work in IT, but I'm low IQ, so I have to work overtime just to cover yeah. what a normal person would do in the nine nine to five thirty slot so i i work like 11 hours a day 10 hours a day i i can't even tell my bosses because then they would say well you you you're working 10 10 hours a day why aren't you progressing as fast as we expect so they don't <laughs> even know i'm working these hours i'm i i my life is the most dog shit thing going i'm working oh, so i'm you're working like working like eight ten hours like yeah, I'm yeah generally I'm, just grinding i am working overtime and my boss is is that a subscription thank you i can't even let my bosses know because they would say oh well you're working overtime you should be finished you should be finished with this project so um yeah, my life is complete dog shit. Complete dog shit. Man, that's rough, dude. Hey, hey, stay in there for us. Never mind. At least I'll be dead soon. <laughs> Do you have any Hopefully. plans? Of, yo, if you get a rope, like, you should, like, no one should... Live stream it. <laughs> Patreon. You should Patreon it. <laughs> I'll make it an exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> Well, anyway, yeah, I don't understand how more people don't go ER. I I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm. Yeah, no idea. Anyway, is that, thanks. Then the plants. Sorry. Not for me. Not for me. Like I I I'm too. Too much of a chicken shit, I guess. Yeah, I feel. I feel. Hey, it's fine. Anyway, thanks for your call. That yeah. was a good yeah. call. Alright, see you, man. See ya. That is Betty out of here. I would lift that gut up, pull those panties down. I think I need to be killed, to be honest. Like, could you get any more desperate than me? Is it any? Is it possible? <laughs> I think I need well, to be I mean, killed. If, if women are willing to screw with dogs, then I suppose you can get more desperate. No, but you're you're misconstruing it. Dogs are above incels. Yeah. Seriously, I'm not even. That's not even funny. I know it sounds funny, <laughs> but it's serious. <laughs> it's ser- dogs are like way above incels for women. Yeah. 
Oh, I mean, like, is yeah. it just me? Like, would anyone else fuck that? Her belly button looks like you could you could fuck her belly button, right? You could actually yeah. coom in her belly button, and you wouldn't even. It looks like a, a black hole in and of itself. Like well, never mind, like, never mind her pussy. Um, no, no, she was not pregnant. This was a, this was like a Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. This they not say, not, they not say pregnant. The, not 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 the um. Sun never sets. Not not they um. Like the seven. Sun never sets on the British Empire because of how much landmass they have. I, I would say the sun <laughs> never sets on her abdominal pack. <laughs> Nice. Oh, this is going to be one of those streams that just keeps going. All right, let me take this guy. Oh, my goodness me. Let me add this guy. All right, add, call you again. It's Rax. Yo, yo, yo. Hi. What up, sorry, what up, calling. what up, what up, what up, what up? Hello. Oh, wow. Uh, I, I think you've. Uh, I think we're not in a separate call, so I don't think your guests can can hear us. They can. That's the goal. I'm doing a live stream. No, I know, I know, but you, I can you, hear uh, you fine and dandy. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just yeah. That it was a single call. I'm a, no, bad. no, no. I got this I, shit on uh, lock, bro. <laughs> I work in uh, IT, well, motherfucker. Yeah. Wow. Well, I want to work in IT too. Um, okay. Become a developer but anyways yeah um, I, I just wanted to say i really do love your streams thank you and, uh, why they're, they're <laughs> honestly such high iq and such high really value and well he, he well actually more your videos this the, the stream <laughs> they're uh, they're high iq except this one right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're high iq except the point at which you made this stream well, no, go well, ahead. I've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying it for the past couple hours. So exactly for, for for the past two days, which is probably how <laughs> long <laughs> how long I've been streaming. This was intent. Yeah. I intended to end this at one a.m. Fuck this guy. I intended to end this stream at like one a.m. My time. It is four o three. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm, well, personally, man, I. I I, I love these long streams. Like I just love I don't know when no nothing's happening. Just just sitting down watching these personally. But I I know like it must be fucking gay for you <laughs> to do these long streams. I don't know. No people 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 said that people say they listen to these streams while lifting. I'm thinking, wow, like nothing could be more counter. Hey, ironic. Count, yeah, no, nothing could be more in, yeah, ironic than listening to l lifting, lifting in the gym, trying to improve your yeah. physique while listening to how over it is for most men. Like that is strange, but you know, some people. That is some people's yeah. reality. <laughs> to each their own. Yeah. Anyway, well, back I, to you. I, I'd like to to give you guys some some hope fuel, maybe, okay. but with with an anecdote that I've personally experienced. So um, okay, while while way, you're giving this anecdote, let us know your looks, your race, your okay. blah blah blah, well, your stats. I'm, I'm white. Yeah. I'm uh, Caucasian. I really don't know my looks. Like I've asked to be rated, but like the results vary. I, I would say I'm in between a five and a six. If you want, I could send you a picture of myself just so you for you to confirm. Okay. I don't know. Okay, sure. Uh, it'd be cool if you uh, like, is this gonna, it's not gonna show on the stream, right? No. All right. Uh, cool. Um, I'm I'm only I'm I'm only seventeen and a half though, so I don't know if that's a like oh you don't gosh. mind, right? The yeah, yeah, yeah. Young so. Well, I'm I'm not really an in, like I'm not an insult. You're I just, not I just an enjoy the. I, like I, I'm, I'm not an insult because I've, I haven't approached many, many women. I just, I just enjoy watching the content because it's, I feel like it's really enlightening to the, to the, you know. Okay, here. Uh, this is a picture of me, but it's a really frauded angle. So, yeah. Can I show the um? Sure, the, you, you can the show the Skype, guys. Skype guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Right. But it's really frauded angle, guys. So yeah, I have a, I have a like my 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 mandible is kind of narrow, and I'm kind of twisting my head so I hide my shitty ES ratio. So you're not you're good. Okay, your philtrum is an issue. Upturned nose. What the hell? Yeah. Did you, did you I, I know. change the picture? But but I'm I'm really frauding this picture. It's probably my best. No, but you're you're decent looking. Definitely. Well, thank, like thank at you. Like six at least. At least six. Well, at yeah, I'm planning to get a rhino because I have that shitty piggy nose. Yeah, yeah, and piggy nose. Like maybe upturned. Some, some face pulling. Some face pulling to, to try to... Well, well, whatever, I'm, I'm sorry. But anyways, so the... um. The, the the anecdote I'd like to give you is there's a, this this girl in my school and she's yeah, a, like trust me you're not going to be listening to me in the next few years you will be ascended you won't be listening to me in a few years dude don't Seriously. worry man like your content is so I don't I don't care like about the 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 insult stuff it's just it's just so so bl- uh, so enlightening to see how 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 much women and society lies and how shitty they are to men like and like if you i i I feel i feel like if you're a man you just just and to start out with like it it, it's just uh, i don't know i'm I'm not gonna repeat what everybody has said a million times but still i I just enjoy watching your streams for what they are like a expose on on society thank you but anyways um so there's this um there's this girl in my uh, in my school and she's she's not very facially attractive but she's got a very large ass and titties milkers so so yeah and she's she's got she's gone on TikTok and gotten all that TikTok validation oh, and everything no. and she still well this is this is this is hope fuel for you guys she still decides to date a guy who is probably the one of the most unattractive males i've ever seen here let me let me get you guys a picture of this guy okay. you can show it on the stream if you want i don't i don't care uh this guy he's a um uh he is i would say probably a three out of ten he's arab uh got wow. a what's it called fucking when you're when you have one eyebrow a um, unibrow unibrow he's fat uh where where's glasses everything Dante, Dante, Abe, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right, this uh, honestly, is some not very... hope fuel for us. Well, here, I mean, of course, this is just one anecdote, one, yeah, one yeah, girl, right? Yeah, yeah. But um, but still, it 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 really made me feel less shitty. I mean, right now, uh, I don't know. I, I, right now, my like, I, I haven't really. Approach many girls because my foot, my face really is quite uh, This is actually <laughs> life fuel. Um, I wish I could post it in the um. Oh, you can, you, oh, YouTube can you chat. block the if, the name? Just, uh, you can do it. I don't care. Just just make sure you block the name. So like, yeah, yeah. Let me try and do that. Let me try and crop the name. Uh, so I'll try and do this now. Here, I'll, I'll, live... get, I'll, get, I'll get some more pictures. Can you? Okay, let me do. I'll do it. Let me crop the name. Right, so save as. So I need to save this on my left screen. Cause even my YouTube, even my Skype callers, if they saw the contents of my hard disk, they'll be calling the FBI. So um, <laughs> let me save that. Seriously, <laughs> seriously, friendship will go out the window. Um, so let me save this. Um. Uh, you you name, don't have your, more clearer pictures, do you? What's your name, by the way? Uh, uh, what's your alias? Rax. Rax. Uh, or, or you can. Oh, my, my real name's Luke. I don't. Don't care. don't don't do that. Oh, you did. Okay, uh, I'll call you sorry, Rax. Sorry. Oh, it's, it's whatever, bro. Like, uh, there's so many Lukes in the world. Um, yeah. Rax. I'll call you Rax. Alright. So um, let me. Though I'd like to run a little experiment. Let me um, let me let me uh, add racks to this. So let me try and do this quickly. Uh, so let me add a window capture. Let me. I'm doing this on the fly, guys. So bear with me. Window capture. No, let let me add it as a picture. So I'll do image racks. 
which is your your friend is this your your friend uh well i had i had a class with the guy and i know the girl personally and we're, we're good we're well not good friends but we're friends okay and they go to my school um so, what did i say with that oh my days well I, not not to to be too depressing but i think that the reason this is this is the case is because she, okay. she's an 18 and therefore she she can't use tinder yet that's probably uh there you go big, yeah. big reason so why this is this happening. is it this is it yeah this is it, yeah. This is the unattractive, receded chin, weak jaw yeah. guy with the hot girl. She likes him, I guess. That is, yeah, I guess. That is insane. So you're saying that this is due to her being too young to use Tinder and she hasn't stumbled say- on TikTok yet? Well, she, she, she has an account on TikTok and she got quite a lot of validation for huge ass but it's weird that she's still with him like from from trust me trust trust me this relationship won't last five years (laughs) yeah i I would i probably would bet up i'll probably wouldn't bet money on it lasting to be honest yeah it's 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 amazing it's lasted this long well, well, I I would like to run a, a little social experiment. Uh, okay. Maybe next time, next time yeah. you uh, you have a stream, I'll I'll call back and tell you what happened. My 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 idea is I'm gonna get my friend who's um. Well, I mean, you might not, you guys might actually know him. He, well, actually, I might not, I don't want to dot. I don't want to no no. Him. Uh, he, make up a name. Make he, up uh, a name. Well, it's Steven or something. He's yeah. also part of the like mewing community type thing, and he he's got a channel quite famous. But he's I, I don't really I, okay whatever. Anyways, I don't want to get into it. But he's good looking like I'd probably i'd say seven seven and a half out of ten and i'd like to get him to to message this girl on instagram and start striking up a conversation with her and seeing this if she's gonna here. like this girl right here on screen you can see the girl uh... with your friend mm-hmm. you you want here, I'll, sorry I'll you, you want you want a guy to message her why yeah, and then uh, and then start like start start bringing like starting to ask her like oh ask her out maybe something like that. And oh, then, to see if she's faithful, see, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, right. But, yeah. So I'd like to see. Uh, I'm gonna do that soon, and next time you stream, I'll I'll fill you in with the results if you want. Thank. No, I do want. I do. Yeah. It, yeah. Because honestly, this just shouldn't happen. It's it's insane that when I when I saw that they were together, I was like. And this guy has been getting sex. Like, he, wow. he told me, like, he told me, I, we were talking about beating, like, masturbating and like, porn hub and all that. And he's like, mm-hmm. oh, I, I haven't done that since I got a girlfriend. Wow. Because she, yeah. Ouch. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's hope fuel for, this is why I don't um, really want to take calls from guys under 18 because you don't know your luck. You don't know what's going to happen. Like, at least if you're 23 or 25, 27, you've, you've proven that women don't want you. But, like, when, well, it's, had, all up, when had, it's all up in the sorry. air, then you'd never know. Well, yeah, I, I'm not really, I, I'm not an insult, I wouldn't say, because I'm not old enough. But I, I, just, I just wanted to, I don't know, maybe lighten up the chat and give them a little bit of hope so they don't, you know off themselves <laughs> okay all right thanks for your hope well yeah, yeah i mean it was, it was great talking to you man and you all right talk to you soon all right goodbye. all right okay back and i had this. a hard time understanding that guy because the reverb made it made it sound like he was talking to us from the great beyond <laughs> maybe it was coming from my headphones okay back to this video this woman on tinder in Australia, um, enjoy right now. Right. Here's a dog. Yeah. It's, okay, um, I know that I haven't spoken about the dog pill here, but women do refer or women do react to dogs. It's almost as if, I don't want to say it, but it's almost as if the dog pill has some legitimacy. Ugh, not there. 
Well, I, <laughs> because... was, no, um, no, I was no, seeing, no, 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 seeing no, no, some no. research. Okay, let's go back to this. I one. was seeing some research saying that women actually um, react sexually to the images of Bonobos going at it. So, I mean, women, they react to a wide variety of sexual stimuli. But ultimately, they're going to pick out chads whenever they're available. Absolutely brutal. All right, let me um, continue with this. Uh, that caller ends. And let's continue with this call. I mean, this video. video. It, it was so easy for her. She she was like, that's a no. That's a no. No? <laughs> so, see, the thing is, the thing that caught her attention was the dog. She says he has a dog. Imagine, it takes for you to get to, ca to capture a woman's... Um, interest attention for more than one split second you need to have a dog this goes back to the um the uh the first assertion i made in this stream but you know i'm just talking shit i'm not i'm not talking from reality or anything like i'm just making it up all right back to this video He got left swiped. The gym cell got Eesh. left swiped. Like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not imagining, imagine in it. He got left swiped. Left, look. Look, gym cell. Left. Even he's not good enough. So what do you, do you think you're, you're good enough then? All right, let me. All right, this is a real test. This guy, Luke, twenty-seven. Come on, Luke. It's got to be a right swipe, right? He looks like he's high. He looks like he's high. Oh. His nose is long. Right, it looks like a pelican. All right, let's see where this goes, because I haven't seen this. Ooh. Left. Oh my oh. gosh! Oh my <laughs> gosh! Oh my gosh! It's over. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So not even Luke passes. Then it's fully over for us. Bastardo. Bastardo for real. Oh my gosh. God, are you serious? Luke doesn't pass? Uh, I, I'm guessing if Luke doesn't pass, then Fabio is over. Oh, this hurts. This is too brutal. Like, this is too brutal. All right, let me, let's continue. Literally over. All right, uh, where, where's this bitch? All right, back to this bitch. He looks a little nice eyes. Nice eyes. So she's delving into his pictures. So he passed the first level of um, the... Um, I don't want to make a meme about it. Um, the first level of the... Uh, camp in which you concentrate he passed that first level okay let's see the next level look at these pictures um you have to be surfing in shark infested waters to get the in the 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 in, not even interest to get um one second's um interest from a chubby four out of out of ten woman it's insane yep 
you need to be sh diving into shark infested waters to get this woman's attention okay let's go back to this video Very long hair. oh over no. oh okay okay all right let me let me compose myself <laughs> I think I need to, I need to, um, mm. I think I need, I think I need a, um, coffee break, but I'm not going to take it. Um, yeah, so uh, this... Keep drinking that whiskey, but it will <laughs> No, I'm, I'm joking. I don't need, I don't need a break, but, um, this is how bad things are, right? Alex 27, 28... <laughs> This is what captures her eye. So don't you think that you in your mirror selfie or you at the canteen or you riding your bike is anything special? Not unless you are. Uh, how can you top a Chad flying? For me, an, uh, you know, no, wait, 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 how, in wait, the Caribbean. wait, wait, how can you top a Chad flying an aircraft? Can you top it? Like, I'm all ears. Can you top that? Unless you're riding really, alongside him. I mean, I, unless you're the Caribbean, but unless you're riding alongside him and you're actually flicking the switches, you can't compare. So you, 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 as soon as this woman sees this man. And you're not as good looking as him. You're a disappointment to her. And um, she's she's not even good looking, so you can imagine how it would. Yeah. Uh, she was attracted. Oh. Thank you. Oh, I hear you. She said, oh, yeah, video. So this is the next, um, this is where Chad fishing is going to die. Um, I predict that uh, uh, Lookism, sorry, not Lookism, sorry, uh, Tinder will implement video verification soon. So, you know, the meme that they had a few years ago where they had um, height verification um, it, it was a yeah. meme. Um, I suspect that looks verification will actually be a thing soon. Where yeah, I'm sure they it, already have it, you know kind AI of already algorithms. Is. It kind of already is. Differentiate. It kind of already is where women will be more susceptible or open to s right swiping you if you've shown yourself in motion. You've shown yourself as a as an image uh, sorry a moving gif as a animated gif so um yeah it's it's to that Absolutely. point where women can age women can angle fraud women can age fraud makeup push up bras um high heels that's fine women can fraud as much as they want but if you as a male um try to fraud in the slightest possible way then it's going to be called out gynocracy yeah okay video oh he had long hair so she doesn't like long hair okay back to this oh Brutal. Ooh. Oh yeah, video. Oh yeah, video. Fuck, he's hot. Fuck, he's hot. Yep. Right swipe. Right swipe. Let me take a caller while I am um, regain my composure. Uh, let me take this. Guy, uh, nope. Let me take this guy. Alrighty. Oh, 
Who's I don't want to read out his full name. Let me take this guy. J O. Dante, you're there, right? Dante, yeah. And um, Abe, you're there, right? Yes. Okay, we're taking this guy, JP, in his own time. We're taking this guy. All right, taking too long. All right, let me take this guy. This stream is lasting forever. Let me take this guy. Um, all right, come on, let's take this guy. This is, all right, this guy. So it's calling two guys at once. The guy I stopped trying to call because he didn't answer and this guy now okay all right this is not working out let me add this guy all right that guy let me add this guy imagine <sighs> all right Painful. This is painful. All right. A lot of dead air here going on. Um, all right. Let me add this guy. This guy was keen. Turb. T O R Apologies for this T T O R T O R Who is this? Who's that? Hello, who's that? I didn't add anyone. So who are you? Hello? This is low IQ as fuck. Hello. All right, fuck you then. Uh, let's get on with this video. Uh, carry on. Maybe too old. Too old. Thirty-one. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Every time I see like boxing. Photos, I always think they're like a woman bash or something, which is really bad. But. Yeah, okay. Any anytime, anytime she sees a man beating men, she thinks he will beat women. Because, you know, all men are toxic for some reason. Yep. He's cute. He's cute. Oops, uh, wrong with... Oh, he's got long hair. Pretty flowers. Long video. Long hair. Deleted. I could see that long hair. That blonde oh, hair. wow. She swerved him so quickly. Let me just go back. Sorry. She swerved him so quickly. Um, Yeah, go back. Oh, he's nice. He's nice. Dog pill. Pretty flowers. Pretty flowers. Nope. I could see that long hair. That blonde, long hair. Look at this cute dog. Cute dog, cute dog, cute dog. Nope. <laughs> Left. Does anyone, anyone want to guess where this is going? Oh my days, are you kidding? Live chat. Does anyone want to guess where this is going? Where is it going? Guess. Do you want to guess where this is going? Uh, I was a sit back. Huh? 
So a guy with a six pack, I don't know. Okay, all right, let's keep going. Uh... She's not gonna end up dating anyone. <laughs> all right. Oh, she likes his personality. Oh, never pass on a cheese platter. Oh, let me just skip forward friend, from this. This is bullshit. <gasps> Look at that. Puppy. Oh, let me take a caller because I could just about bear this. Let me take, um... Uh, let me take... Turbo. All right, let me take this guy. Wait, let me end that call. Hey guys, sorry about that. Someone keeps adding me to calls. No idea why. All right, let me add um, this guy over. Let me add this guy. Ah, oh, sorry about this. Oh, fucking hell. Anyway, let's just go back to this. Um, YouTube, um, sorry, Skype guys, are you still there? Skype yeah, Absolutely. Guys? All right, wow, well, thank you for bearing with me. Um, let me persevere with this video. All right, so yeah, nothing is good enough for this woman. Oh, you got it. Ooh. Okay. What's the face like? Oh. Oh, we've gone downhill. We've gone. We've gone down. We've gone from ten to two. But I mean, at least that means he's sporting. Tell me a time when you almost got caught doing something you shouldn't have been doing. You okay. already know my name, so I'll guess I'll tell you about me. I'm very adventurous. Yeah, what is she talking that about? With that. So she's reading his profile because he's good I looking. Like to travel. I what? I have a dog named Chuck. There you go, dog pill. This is painful to you watch. Are... No, you're not oh, stupid, this... yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got shoes. All right, let me sure. skip it. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my goodness me. He has a nice smile. Women don't get it. They just don't get it. He has a nice smile. Yeah. Which is, which is um, combined with his nice cheekbones. Which is combined <laughs> with his... Oh my gosh, women just don't get it. They just don't get it. Yep, zygomatic uh. archers and zygomatic. <laughs> Ah, oh, over. Anyway, I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna like uh, end the stream. I had more content ready, but I am really tired. It's um, it's a Friday night. I work Fridays, so um, maybe we can do this another time or whatever. Pick it up where I left off. But yeah, man, I am really okay. tired, so I'm gonna I'm gonna close this shit out right now. All right, so thanks okay. for thanks for um, watching, and um, we'll talk again soon. Thank you. Bye.